Chapter 461 The True Meaning of Hegemon Translator Born to be fuck off. Suddenly, an icy shout rang out like spring thunder. It contained endless killing intent and fury. A single palm viciously slapped across Yun Wushuang's face, sending her flying. The unpleasant sound of bones breaking rang out. Her jaw shattered and her teeth flew out, shocking everyone. Long Chen. Everyone was startled to see it was Long Chen who had finally taken action. Boom. The world rumbled. That pearl atop Long Chen's head disappeared. At this time, Long Chen's eyes had turned bloody, and he was already on the verge of going berserk. However, he bitterly held back from that point. Because of his fury, his body was quivering. As soon as his body had become capable of moving again, he had attacked. But he had still been too late. He did his best to suppress his rage. If he hadn't held back just now, then Yun Wushuang would have directly exploded from his power. However, her hand had still been on the dagger that was piercing through Ye's Hikyu's chest. If Long Chen hadn't held back, Ye's Hikyu would have also been blown to bits. Long Chen's recovery caused everyone's expressions to change, and they all retreated in terror. Long Chen, Ye's Hikyu let out a soft cry. As soon as that dagger had pierced her, she had sensed a fierce poison spreading within her. She was already beginning to lose consciousness. But looking at Long Chen's face, warmth appeared in her eyes. At this moment, Long Chen's body was trembling as he held her. As a pill cultivator, he was proficient in all poisons and could instantly tell that this dagger had contained a mixed poison. There had been at least a hundred different toxins in it. When those toxins entered a person's body, they would treat the body as a battlefield, beginning to clash against each other, destroying the body from the inside. Quickly consume this. Long Chen hastily fed Ye's Hikyu an antitoxin pill, but he knew that this kind of pill wouldn't be able to save her life. At best, it could postpone her death for a short while. To suppress this kind of poison would require at least a fifth-tier antitoxin pill, but Long Chen didn't have any. That filled him with grief and pain. Such a fairy-like woman would die just like this. He thought of the days they had passed together. He thought of when the three of them had formed an alliance to snatch the profound spirit fruit. He thought of how they had cultivated together. Although Ye's Hikyu had always been icy, Long Chen knew she was actually extremely kind-hearted. Now he saw a faint black key was starting to surface on her face. The poison had already reached her brain, and there was no hope at all. His tears streamed down. Long Chen was filled with regret. If he had had just one more drop of the divine life liquid, perhaps he could save Ye's Hikyu's life. But right now he was completely powerless. Long Chen, don't cry. A hero capable of supporting heaven and earth shouldn't cry for a woman. I don't want you to be laughed at by others. Ye's Hikyu's life force was growing weaker and weaker. She raised a hand to wipe away Long Chen's tears. She continued, I really was very happy those days when I accompanied you. The only regretful thing is that those days were just temporary. I won't get to see you standing at the peak of the world. Long Chen, didn't you always want to see me smile? Then I can let you see it one time. Gently caressing Long Chen's cheek, a smile appeared on Ye's Hikyu's face. It was like a lotus flower had bloomed, sad but beautiful beyond compare. Once that smile bloomed, Ye's Hikyu closed her eyes. Her life force faded away. However, her mouth was still frozen in that smile. She had accomplished her promise. No, Long Chen let out a bestial, heart-rending cry. He tightly held that beautiful lifeless body. The current Long Chen no longer appeared as imposing as before. Instead, he seemed like a helpless child who had lost his companion and was powerless to do anything. Men Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others had long since reached the point of losing their voices from sobbing. When a hero cried, the entire world was filled with grief. The only sound right now was Long Chen's crying. The distant, spectating righteous disciples couldn't help but tear up when they heard that. They were all disciples who came from poor backgrounds but it was those that came from poor backgrounds that had the most sincere emotions. Long Chen was a peerless genius, one who could arrogantly look down on all, one who could suppress the peak experts of seven prefectures. But when he lost his companion, his grief affected everyone. In this world, where the weak were prey to the strong, such emotions were truly hard to come by. As for those disciples that had attacked him, they were all surprised. None of them had thought that Long Chen would cry like this, without any regard to his image. Because of one woman, Huo Wufang, Han Shian Ayu, and Yun Luo glanced at each other and attacked at the same time. They wanted to take advantage of Long Chen's grief to kill him with a single attack. Fuck off. Long Chen suddenly roared, and a powerful sound wave caused heaven and earth to rumble. At the same time, 
An incredibly berserk aura erupted from his body, and he raised his blood-colored saber. Boom. Huo Wufang, Han Shian Iu, and Yun Luo were all blown back miserably into the distance. Everyone was startled. Just now, that had just been a random wave of his saber, but he had managed to send three peak experts flying. Long Chen didn't feel any excitement from this power. His face was still covered with tears, his eyes still filled with pain. He gently rubbed Ye's Hikyu's face. Yaoer, help me look after Hikyu. Long Chen gently handed Ye's Hikyu to Chu Yao. Chu Yao was sobbing noiselessly. She also didn't have the power to suppress such a highly toxic poison. To have to just watch as Ye's Hikyu died. She was filled with pain. The person who felt the most pain would have to be Tang Wan or. It was because Ye's Hikyu had helped her block a fatal attack that she had been forced into using her body to save Long Chen. That made her feel endless remorse. Long Chen was being extremely gentle as if he was afraid of waking up Ye's Hikyu. Only once Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er had taken her did Long Chen slowly stand up. He wiped away his tears. Along with that, he wiped away the grief on his face. What replaced it was icy killing intent. Long Chen, let's work together to kill all these bastards. Mo Nian also felt grief to see Long Chen like this, and he tried to raise his mood. No need. Revenge is best done personally. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen slowly took a few steps towards the righteous and corrupt experts that had attacked them. Currently, there were less than 30,000 of them left. As Long Chen walked forward, Hua Wufang and the others' expression were grave. They involuntarily retreated. They sensed endless killing intent from Long Chen's icy expression. I was wrong. Today, I finally understand that I was always wrong. The nine-star hegemon body art is not trained in this manner. With his blood-colored saber resting on his shoulder, Long Chen muttered to himself as he walked. Mo Nian and the others were startled. Had Long Chen begun to babble nonsense because his injuries were too grave? But that also didn't seem right. They had no idea whether they should follow Long Chen or just stay where they were. Hegemon. Hegemon body art. In other words, to become a domineering hegemon looking down arrogantly at all. Anyone who refuses to submit to me will be destroyed. My cultivation path is one of walking across countless corpses. Long Chen suddenly stopped. He slowly raised his blood-colored saber. Being tolerant and cowardly will only bring humiliation and pain. From today onwards, I swear on the weapon in my hand that I, Long Chen, will no longer concede to anyone. On my cultivation path, if people block me, I will kill them. If gods block me, I will murder gods. I will use the bones of my enemies to forge my cultivation path, and blood to decorate it. You will all be witnesses to my oath, and you will also be my first stepping stone on my cultivation path. I will use your blood to write my life's overture. Long Chen's voice was calm. It didn't contain any emotion. And yet, it still caused people to feel a chill. Each one of his words contained a powerful will, as well as an unquestionable determination. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes. Suddenly, an unprecedented aura surged into the sky. His divine ring once more appeared behind him. At the same time, a pillar of light soared into the sky. The originally dusky sky began to boil. A huge maelstrom hundreds of miles wide formed. At the center of the maelstrom was Long Chen. His Feng Fu star and Aliyev star quickly circulated. But this time was different from before. This time, their energy was sent directly to his Danshan. His originally empty Danshan now had a pearl-like bead in it. The bead now looked just like a shining star. After receiving the Feng Fu star and Aliyev star's energy, it began to slowly circulate. Following its circulation, a powerful primal chaos aura filled the air. That was what allowed his divine ring to cause such a huge disturbance. After merging with the bead, Long Chen seemed to become the master of the Jiuli secret realm. This world spiritual key was crazily surging towards him. Boom. Two stars had appeared in Long Chen's eyes. One was brightly lit, while the other was still very dim. In that instant, Long Chen's aura erupted like a volcano. Astral winds raged. Harsh light crossed. And the entire void rumbled along. The entire space seemed on the verge of exploding. At this moment, Long Chen had exploded with unprecedented aura. Huo Wufang and the others' expressions completely changed. The current Long Chen was like a hibernating dragon that had been awakened. Don't be afraid. He's just one person. Kill him together. Huo Wufang shouted, and flames soared out of his body, runes revolving around him. Han Shian Iu, Yin Luo, Zhu Wuaya, the mustached man, and all the others also erupted with their strongest aura. This was a true life and death battle. If Long Chen didn't die, then they would. They had to fight all out. Charge. Hua Wufang and the others roared. 
Charging straight at Long Chen. Chapter 462 Blood Dies The Jiuli Secret Realm Translator. Born to be Long Chen's expression didn't contain any emotion. His eyes were completely icy as he raised his blood-colored saber. When he swung it forward, blood red light exploded. Boom. Astral winds raged, engulfing everyone. Hua Wufang and the others vomited blood and were blown back. People were appalled to see that other than Yun Luo's spear, every other person's weapon had shattered. Heavens, with a single swing of his saber, it seemed as if even heaven and earth could be exterminated. Just how strong was the current Long Chen? Everyone's hearts pounded wildly with shock. Long Chen suddenly moved, seeming like a bolt of lightning and disappearing from their sight. When he once more appeared, he was already next to Zhu Wuaya. Zhu Wuaya was currently still in midair from Long Chen's attack and was in the midst of vomiting blood. That attack had broken all his inner organs. When he realized another figure had suddenly appeared in front of him, his expression immediately became pale white. That merciless figure raised his saber. No. Blood red light shone. Everyone was horrified to see Zhu Wuaya was killed with a single blow. Long Chen's blood-colored saber seemed to be hiding a volcano. When it had struck Zhu Wuaya, a terrifying energy had blown his corpse out of existence. Up in the air, the only thing remaining of him was his angry roar while at death's door. That scene stunned everyone. One shot instant kill. That was a pinnacle expert, but he hadn't even had the ability to dodge Long Chen's saber. He had been destroyed like that, although they hadn't personally experienced it. As experts, practically everyone could guess that it wasn't that Zhu Wuaya hadn't wanted to dodge, but that he wasn't able to. He had been completely locked down by a terrifying killing intent. After killing Zhu Wuaya, Long Chen went directly for the mustached man since he was the closest. The mustached man was filled with absolute horror. Seeing Long Chen's saber coming for him, he hastily took out another talisman. Torrential rain killing formation, crushing the talisman. Space trembled intensely as a rain of arrows condensed in the sky. These were translucent arrows formed from spiritual key. Each arrow had runes curled around it and emitted a terrifying pressure. This was an offensive talisman with a similar power to the defensive talisman he had used previously. Long Chen was instantly surrounded by millions of arrows, but he still didn't have an expression on his face. Raising blood drinker, he spun through the air, releasing waves of saber images. Boom boom boom. Each arrow caused a powerful explosion. Waves of ki surged out, crushing apart boulders and causing the space to quiver. Each one of those arrows had contained power equivalent to the attack of a pinnacle expert like Han Shian Ayu. This powerful rumbling dazzled everyone. Suddenly, with the final explosion, a saber image tore through the final arrows and struck the mustached man, making him vomit a mouthful of blood. Before he could do anything else, an icy saber stabbed straight through his chest. Long Chen raised his saber, and the mustached man's feet left the ground as he was suspended in the air, looking at the saber piercing his chest. His eyes were filled with terror. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. Please. The mustached man actually began to beg loudly. In the face of death, no matter how arrogant a person was on the outside, it was unable to conceal their inner heart's cowardice. You don't want to die. Long Chen furiously roared. You don't want to die. Then tell me. Who wants to die? When you massacred us, did you ever think of other people's feelings? You cowards who only know how to bully the weak. You can all die now. His saber shook, and without giving the mustached man any chance to reply, a terrifying force blew him apart. Another peak expert died. Kill. Long Chen suddenly roared. Even after killing those two, his killing intent hadn't lessened at all. Instead, it increased even further. Long Chen had been suppressing himself for too long. Now that he finally let himself free, he had a desire to slaughter every person beneath the heavens. Previously, Long Chen had always suppressed that desire. That was because he was afraid he would one day truly become a madman who only knew how to slaughter. But now, he realized he was wrong, and very wrong at that. Only after merging with that bead did Long Chen realize just how excessively wrong he was. Once that bead had merged with him, the words Primal Chaos Bead had appeared in his mind. Obviously, that must be its name. Many things had appeared in Long Chen's mind just now. However, he had no time to absorb them, and they were gradually fading. But he had realized a certain mistake of his. He should never have suppressed his desire for slaughter. That was in direct violation of the true essence of the Nine Star Hegemon body art. The meaning of hegemon in the Nine Star Hegemon body art referred to being domineering, to advance in the face of all obstacles, to rather break than bend, to rather die than submit. When you ran into danger, you had to smash it head-on with a single fist. 
Long Chen had been raised in the secular world, and he had walked up to his current level step by step. When it came to background, he was far, far too lacking in comparison to his powerful enemies. That was why he had never wanted to make so many powerful enemies. He had hoped to give himself enough time to peacefully grow. However, this thinking was completely mistaken. The nine-star hegemon body art was not trained in that manner. If you wanted to become a supreme hegemon, then you needed to be completely domineering, and to be domineering required you to never lower your head to anyone. When he thought of that, Long Chen was filled with regret. His conservativeness and cowardice had finally resulted in a painful consequence. Lu Fanger and Ye Hikiu had both died. That was also what had allowed him to see the truth. Now, Long Chen's killing intent was surging wildly. A huge saber image grew out of his saber and attacked the experts around him. Heads flew and flesh exploded. Anyone within Long Chen's range was killed. It was incredibly bloody. Long Chen, Chu Yao couldn't help shedding tears as she watched Long Chen charge into a crowd of enemies on his own. Crazily slaughtering. Chu Yao was the one who understood Long Chen the best. Even though he was slaughtering so many, his fury wasn't lessening. Instead, he was becoming more and more furious. She couldn't help worrying that Long Chen might become bedeviled. Work together. We don't need to be afraid. There's no way he can keep this up for long, shouted Huo Wufang. But his order didn't have any effect. The current Long Chen was like a bloodthirsty devil king. Someone no one could block. Everyone from both the righteous and corrupt paths was completely terrified of him. Who would dare go block him? Run. It was unknown which righteous disciple decided to let out this terrified screech. But it immediately broke any remaining courage people had. And they all began to flee. It wasn't just the righteous disciples who fled. Even the corrupt disciples had given up on fighting. Brothers, it's time to get revenge. Our brother's blood can't be spilled for nothing. Kill, roared Mo Nian. He took the lead, shooting out countless arrows. Previously, he had been completely entangled with the other experts from King Prefecture. Now that they were fleeing in terror, two of them were instantly killed with a single arrow. Kill, get revenge for our dead brothers. Zhen Wenlong also shouted. The Huaian sect had also suffered quite a few casualties, and he was filled with fury. This had been extremely different from his expectations, and his killing intent was also soaring. He chased after them with a sword. Kill. We have to get revenge for Ye's Hikyu and Lu Fang'er. Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er wiped away their tears, clenching their teeth. They chased after everyone. Long Chen was killing experts continuously. He suddenly raised his head and saw that Feng Xiaozi was panicking and had summoned out his crow, preparing to flee. His killing intent immediately locked onto him. It could be said that the main culprit for their heavy losses was Feng Xiaozi. If he hadn't entangled Men Qi, then with Men Qi's powerful soul energy, many of those experts would have been too intimidated to participate. It could also be said that he was a main culprit in the deaths of Lu Fang'er and Ye's Hikyu. Long Chen's killing intent exploded to unprecedented levels. Seeing Feng Xiaozi was about to flee, he raised his left hand. During his previous seclusion time, Long Chen had not just been increasing his cultivation base, he had also solidified his mastery of his battle skills. Other than that combined technique with Little Snow, he had also been experimenting with his Thunder Force. His Thunder Force was gathered from the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning, and that was this world's strongest lightning. However, the Thunderization art that he cultivated in was too low grade. It could only control ordinary thunder force. When it came to controlling tribulation thunder force, it was far from enough. Long Chen could only experiment with it on his own to find the most effective way to use his thunder force. At this moment, Long Chen had raised his left hand and pointed his finger at the crow Feng Xiaozi was on. Lightning finger. A violet bolt of lightning shot out of his finger and almost instantly struck the crow. Thunder rumbled. The lightning bolt was like a spear piercing straight through the magical beast. Terrifying thunder force instantly killed it. Even Feng Xiaozi was impacted and his body turned numb. He began to fall to the ground with the crow. Long Chen sprung into action, and he quickly appeared in front of Feng Xiaozi while he was still in midair. As for Feng Xiaozi, his entire body was numb, and seeing Long Chen suddenly appear in front of him, his soul almost fled his body in fright. With the light slash of his saber, Feng Xiaozi's body was cut off at his elbows. His cut-up body collapsed on the ground. Feng Xiaozi let out a cry of despair. Long Chen's attack had really been too vicious. He had cut him off at the elbows, meaning he wouldn't die immediately. Perhaps if a Xi'anshan expert was present, he might be able to save him. But there were none present. 
So Feng Ziozi was filled with despair. He could only slowly wait for death to take him. That was a cruel torment. Without his arms, he didn't even have the ability to kill himself. Long Chen cut off one of Feng Ziozi's fingers and took off its ring. That ring contained the tiger's corpse, and within that corpse was the golden page. With a flick of his hand, that spatial ring flew straight to the distant Men Qi, who caught it. After handling Feng Ziozi, Long Chen's gaze swept over the battlefield. He immediately noticed a terrified Hua Wufang who was hiding within the crowd. Hua Wufang, hand over your life. Chapter 463 I'll teach you what pain is translator. Born to be Hua Wufang, hand over your life. Long Chen sprung forward, charging at Hua Wufang. Hua Wufang's expression completely changed. Long Chen was absolutely massacring everyone, and no one had been able to stop him. Right now, Hua Wufang had already changed his clothes and was hiding within the crowd. He hadn't expected Long Chen to find him with a single glance. But in truth, it had to be said that Hua Wufang's method was completely foolish, and just deceiving himself. As a pill cultivator with powerful spiritual strength, Long Chen was extremely sensitive to his flame energy. Now that Long Chen had already locked onto him, Hua Wufang felt as if he had been dropped into an ice house. Even his bones turned cold, and his hair stood on end. Now he really did regret it. He had never imagined that the situation would develop to this point. If he had known earlier, then no matter what, he wouldn't have dared set himself against Long Chen. At this time, Long Chen had already killed three pinnacle experts, Zhu Wuya, the mustached man, and Feng Ziozi. He was practically possessed by a killing god, completely unblockable. Whoever tried to stop him would die. Of the pinnacle experts, only he, Han Shianayu, and Yun Luo were still alive, but the three of them could all tell that even if they joined hands, they wouldn't be able to stop the current Long Chen. So they were all fleeing. They all wanted to see just who Long Chen would target. That was a gamble on whoever's luck was the most lacking. They were all waiting for a certain thing that was on the verge of occurring. Now they were in a race against time. Seeing Long Chen target him instead of Han Shianai or Yun Luo, Hua Wufang couldn't help cursing his bad luck. But in truth, it seemed he had forgotten. The one who had caused this huge battle had been solely him. If it hadn't been for him, Long Chen could have simply killed Han Shianai and Yun Luo, and this matter would have been over. It was only because Hua Wufang had used his pill tower status to interfere that Long Chen had become the enemy of the righteous and corrupt paths. If Long Chen didn't target him, then that really wouldn't have made sense. He knew he wouldn't be able to get away from Long Chen's phantom-like movement technique. Seeing Long Chen come straight for him, he erupted with his greatest possible power, blazing dragon kill. All his pill flame gathered in his two hands, forming two huge flame dragons. Countless runes flickered atop those huge dragons. Those were his core runes, something that could push his attack power to his peak. In fact, this one attack contained over half his core runes. Once this attack was over, it would require at least a year for him to recover from the loss. During that year, he wouldn't even be able to cultivate. Furthermore, at his age, this was his golden period for cultivation, and to waste a year was an irrecoverable loss. However, there was no way around it. In order to keep himself alive, he could only use up everything he had. He knew that Long Chen's pill flame energy had been used up, and so this attack should have an 80% chance of heavily injuring him. As long as he heavily injured him, he knew that Han Shian Iu and Yun Luo would immediately come to kill him. Split the heavens. Suddenly, Long Chen shouted, and a saber image soared into the sky, seeming like a heavenly blade as it slashed down on those two flame dragons. Boom. Hua Wufang was horrified to see that even after sacrificing over half his core runes to power his strongest attack, his dragons were instantly crushed. Furthermore, those flame dragons were connected to his mind, and when they were destroyed, he vomited blood, intense pain racking his soul. When he recovered, he realized Long Chen was already standing in front of him. The two were less than a foot away from each other. Hua Wufang was horrified. It felt as if he was staring the Grim Reaper in the face. He instinctively punched out. Long Chen caught his fist with a single palm. Hua Wufang tried to pull it back, but he was powerless. He hastily kicked his leg at Long Chen's abdomen. That was normally an extremely practical attack. However, he only got his kick halfway when he let out a mournful scream. The arm that Long Chen had caught had been torn off at his shoulder. Blood splattered, appearing extremely frightening. Crack. Furthermore, his kick was stopped by Long Chen's foot. With some light pressure, Hua Wufang's knee broke and his leg bent at an odd angle. Ahh. 
Compared to the pain of his lost arm, Long Chen's kick had caused him much more pain. Long Chen's foot had contained some bizarre energy that was crazily targeting his pain nerves. Hua Wufang was in so much pain that the veins on his head bulged, looking like they might explode at any moment. He rolled back and forth on the ground. Does it hurt? No, this can't count as pain. True pain is something an idiot like you cannot comprehend. It seems I can only help teach you what level of pain you've caused others. Sorrow flashed in Long Chen's eyes, and his foot stamped down on Hua Wufang's body. Crack. 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 Long Chen's foot came down dozens of times on different joints. In the beginning, Hua Wufang's screams were exceptionally mournful, but afterward, he became silent. That was because it was already too painful for him to scream. He had to use all his strength just to resist the pain. That wasn't even voluntary, but an instinctual reaction of his body. According to his current level of pain, Hua Wufang's body should have immediately shut down and allowed him to pass out. But unfortunately, such a blessing never came to him. The first thing Long Chen had done was sever certain nerves to make sure he couldn't faint. Now, Hua Wufang could only silently endure that hell-like pain. However, no matter how much pain he was in, it was just physical pain. Could it even compare to the pain Long Chen felt inside? Seeing a spatial ring on his finger, Long Chen just directly took it away. Then after hesitating for a moment, he took out a medicinal pill and stuffed it down Hua Wufang's mouth. He used a slap in the face to help him swallow it. Only after doing that did Long Chen nod with satisfaction. Such a person had to suffer endless pain for the rest of his life. Killing him like this was letting him off too easy. After finishing this, Long Chen saw that Mo Nian and the others were crazily slaughtering their enemies as they fled. Now was the time for revenge. Then turning around, he saw the distant Han Shian Iyu and Yun Luo. The two of them were a hundred miles from each other and were fleeing in two different directions. After hesitating for just a moment, Long Chen went straight for Yun Luo. Rumble. He had only just moved when heaven and earth began to shake. A huge ripple appeared in the air, and a vast spatial door slowly appeared. Haha. <laughs> Time's up. Yin Luo, Han Shian Iyu, and all the others celebrated. They hastily activated the tablets on their waists. The spatial door shot out lights that enveloped them. Boss. First kill that BTCH Yun Wushuang. She's about to run. Guo Ran called out when he saw Yun Wushuang was already enveloped by light. Everyone already hated Yun Wushuang to the core. If they let her run, they would be so depressed that they might just kill themselves. Long Chen heard Guo Ran, but he still went straight for Yun Luo. To teleport away required a certain amount of time. He wanted to cut down Yun Luo as soon as possible. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you aren't able to kill me. Yun Luo suddenly laughed loudly. A tortoise shell appeared in front of him. It was jade-like and crystalline. Runes covered it densely, and it completely protected Yun Luo. Crystal bone. Long Chen's pupils shrunk. He really hadn't imagined that Yun Luo would have also found a crystal bone. Furthermore, it was a defensive crystal bone. He had actually been hiding such a powerful life-preserving trump card. His expression became a bit ugly. He was well aware of a crystal bone's power. As a defensive crystal bone, its defensive prowess was incredible. Although Yun Luo's cultivation base was limited and he was unable to use its full power, it would be enough to block at least one of his full power attacks. All Yun Luo needed was to block that one attack. That would be enough for him to leave the Jiuli secret realm. Yun Luo, you should stay behind. Mo Nian's voice rang out. At this time, a pitch black arrow was knocked on his bow. It emitted a powerful pressure, seeming like the tongue of a poisonous viper that might take a person's life at any moment. Furthermore, all Mo Nian's spiritual key was pouring into this bone arrow. Its runes lit up, causing heaven and earth to rumble. Piercing cloud arrow. The black arrow was like a bolt of black lightning shooting towards Yun Luo. As it flew, the runes on top of it grew even brighter. As it pierced through heaven and earth, it was as if it was capable of piercing straight through this world. Boom. A heaven-shaking explosion occurred when that arrow collided with the armor. The tortoise shell and bone arrow exploded together. Die. Long Chen shouted his saber slashing down on a shocked and infuriated Yun Luo. But Yun Luo suddenly felt a powerful pulling force as the teleportation activated. Long Chen's saber fell. Yun Luo's body disappeared. But this time, he had been cut straight down from the shoulder, leaving behind an arm, a leg, as well as some ribs. Little Snow, get over here. Placing Little Snow in his spiritual space, Long Chen activated his tablet as well. Han Shian Iyu and Yun Wushuang had already left. He had to chase after them. 
There were two reasons why Long Chen hadn't first killed Yun Wushuang. One was that he would be teleported to the same exit as her. He could still kill her once they both left. That was not the case with Yun Luo. Once he left, there was no way to avenge this enmity. The second reason was that Long Chen didn't want to kill Yun Wushuang with one attack. That would be letting her off far too lightly. Buzz. Long Chen's body faded in front of everyone. Brothers Hang. Brother Mo. You should get your subordinates to quickly clean up the battlefield. We'll go help boss. After saying that, Guo Ran also quickly activated his tablet. The other disciples from the 108th monastery also activated their tablets. Disappearing from the secret realm. Everyone, hurry up and clean up the battlefield. There's not much time. You only need to get the spatial rings of Chosen. Hey, where's Huo Wufang? Asked Mo Nian. Someone helped him activate his tablet. He's already gone replied a Mogate disciple. Ah, whatever. Everyone, hurry up. Hua Biluo, Zhen Wenlong, and Mo Nian's subordinates quickly went through the battlefield. There wasn't much time before the spatial door closed. Mo Nian was extremely pleased. He picked up Yun Luo's body parts and put them in a spatial ring. Now he finally had a full set. Aya, isn't Long Chen done for? Mo Nian's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 464 I want to kill her translator. Born to be isn't Long Chen done for? What do you mean brother Mo? Zhen Wenlong hastily asked. Long Chen's not the same as us. As a member of the Zhuangshan Supermonastery, he has his own exit. The various sect leaders of its 108 monasteries are all waiting at that exit. Once he gets there, won't he be killed by those sect leaders? Said Mo Nian. You don't need to worry. I'll immediately go over to help. Hua Biluo also realized that now. She hastily activated her tablet disappearing from their sight. Seeing Hua Biluo disappear, Mo Nian and Zhen Wenlong were much more at ease. Hua Biluo was also a disciple from an ancient family, and she possessed a great deal of influence in the supermonastery. With her going over, she would definitely be able to help Long Chen. Mo Nian looked over the battlefield. The righteous and corrupt disciples that had attacked them had already fled in the first moment. How could they have dared to stay? Although there were spatial rings all over, they didn't have any thoughts of snatching them. As for those distant spectators, they wanted to come over, but they were still hesitating. After all, they hadn't been the ones to win those battle spoils. What are you just standing there looking for? The spatial door will only be open for an incense stick's worth of time. You don't want to clean up the battlefield, shouted Mo Nian. This was a huge battlefield, and there were corpses everywhere. On Mo Nian and Zhen Wenlong's side, there were only a few hundred people. It would be impossible for them to completely go through the battlefield without several hours. Those spectating disciples were mostly from poor backgrounds. Although they hadn't helped, they also couldn't count as enemies. They were all righteous disciples, so there was no need to be so domineering with them. Those disciples were filled with gratefulness when they heard Mo Nian. They all rushed over the battlefield. However, they knew not to go overboard. They only went through the outer sides of the battlefield. The corpses there were mostly ordinary core disciples and favored. As for the center of the battlefield with the chosen, that was left for Mo Nian and the others. But even so, they all managed to gather over a hundred spatial rings. They didn't have time to look through the spatial rings, but they knew that each one of them must contain unimaginable treasures. Long Chen, Mo Nian, and people like them conducted themselves openly and candidly. In comparison, Hua Wufang and Han Shianaya were trash. They might be powerful but they lacked a grandness that an expert should possess. Brothers Hang, you should direct everyone. I'll go back first, said Mo Nian. What's so urgent? Asked Zhen Wenlong, surprised to hear that Mo Nian wasn't even willing to stay for a quarter hour. I feel like Long Chen might really be in trouble this time. He killed too many people, and who knows how many righteous disciples are included in there. There must be many Xianchen experts waiting for him, even if he grew wings. Long Chen would find it impossible to escape. He'll definitely be captured, and considering how many people he's killed, the fact that he comes from the lowest ranking monastery and that he doesn't have any connections in the supermonastery, the supermonastery won't necessarily choose to protect him. If the supermonastery wants to appease everyone's anger, they'll very likely have Long Chen killed. So I'll go back right now and alert my old man. TCH, no matter what happens, I'll protect Long Chen. It was so hard to find a brother to my tastes. I can't let him die. Mo Nian's expression was gloomy. He came from a grand background, and he was very familiar with the unwritten rules between sects. You're right. 
I'll also report it to my sect elders. Zhen Wenlong nodded. Let's go. The two of them activated their tablets and disappeared from the Jiuli secret realm, leaving behind their subordinates who were quickly cleaning up the spoils from the final battlefield. When the spatial door in the air began to tremble, those disciples' expressions changed, and they immediately activated their tablets. If they still didn't activate them now, then it might really be too late. Looking at the piles of corpses on the ground, it was unknown just how many spatial rings were still lying amongst them. They were filled with unwillingness. Unfortunately, staying behind was just death. The spatial gate finally faded away. The entire Jiuli secret realm returned to calm. The only ones left on the battlefield were corpses. An endless number of corpses. An icy breeze blew by. It was almost possible to still hear the sound of sobbing. Spatial fluctuations appeared in front of Long Chen, and his vision suddenly changed. He arrived at the same place where he had entered the secret realm from. At this time, there were many figures present. The Zhuangshan Supermonastery's 108 monastery sect leaders and their various Xianchen experts were all gathered here. As soon as he appeared, he heard the sound of a loud argument. One of those voices was very familiar to him. It was the voice of the sharp-tongued senior Kang Ming. But when Long Chen appeared, the entire crowd became silent. Everyone's gaze landed on him. Long Chen, you evil traitor. You willfully slaughtered the innocent and murdered members of your own sect. Let me see just where you'll run today. Yin Wushuang hid behind her first monastery sect leader. Her eyes filled with rancor and delight. With this many Xianchen experts, Long Chen was doomed. These sect leaders had already come here a few days ago in preparation for welcoming their disciples back. After all, those that entered the secret realm were their monastery's strongest disciples. Each one of them was important. Originally, people had been discussing what would happen in the righteous and corrupt battle. This time, the Zhuangshan Supermonastery would definitely stand out. After all, they had geniuses like Han Shianayu, Hua Biluo, Yin Wushuang, and Han Shianfeng. Adding on over a hundred chosen, they had been confident in winning an unprecedented glory, but as they were discussing how they would finally get to reverse the tide against the corrupt path that had suppressed them for so long, Han Shianayu and Yin Wushuang had come out along with their people. When they had appeared, the sect leaders had jumped in shock. Han Shianayu was pale as paper, and his spiritual ki was practically exhausted. His body was covered with blood, and his right arm was broken. Yin Wushuang was even more miserable and her jaw had been broken. A wood attribute expert immediately went to go heal her. Only then did Yun Wushuang regain the ability to speak. The first thing she said made everyone shocked. Long Chen had gone crazy and had crazily slaughtered the experts of the righteous and corrupt paths. Kang Ming had immediately exploded with rage and began to argue with the first monastery sect leader. That was the cursing Long Chen had heard when he had appeared. Impudent Long Chen, how dare you be so disgraceful? Hurry up and kneel in repentance. The first monastery sect leader furiously roared, sending a fist smashing at Long Chen. Fuck off, you old, shameless dog. A furious curse rang out, and a huge hammer that was even bigger than a table ruthlessly smashed at the first monastery sect leader. The first monastery sect leader had been hoping to capture Long Chen immediately. That was because Yun Wushuang had used a secret method to tell him that their illegal activities had already been exposed. So his top priority was to kill Long Chen. Even if others investigated at that time, a dead man couldn't testify. But although he was fast, Kang Ming was faster. The first monastery sect leader was surprised by Kang Ming's quick reactions, and he hastily turned his fist into a palm, colliding with Kang Ming's hammer. Boom! A terrifying wave of ki shot out. Long Chen felt like he was about to suffocate. The two of them were both Xianchen experts, and with each wave of their hands, Xianchen power raged. That was different from Yun Luo's Xianchen power. His Xianchen power did not come from himself. And in terms of power, it was as different as heaven and earth. That power was something that could instantly exterminate anyone beneath the Xianchen realm. Long Chen was just about to resist with his full strength when he felt himself being pulled to the side. Sect leader, Long Chen was delighted to see Ling Yunzi take action now. It was he who blocked the aftershocks of their attack for him. What happened? Asked Ling Yunzi gravely. Sect leader, I need to ask you for one thing. I want to kill Yun Wushuang, and I need you to block the others. Long Chen took a deep breath. Ling Yunzi's heart jumped. Long Chen's gaze was completely steady, and he was clearly set on killing Yun Wushuang. All right. Long Chen was surprised that Ling Yunzi actually did not even hesitate. He nodded and engraved this favor in his heart. 
He then shot out straight toward Yun Wushuang. A-H-H. Originally, Yun Wushuang had felt completely safe. But now she let out a sharp cry and hastily hid behind another Xi'anshan expert from the first monastery. Brazen traitor. You actually dare publicly commit crimes in front of this many people? You really have fallen onto the devil path. Don't blame this old man for being ruthless and executing you. The first monastery sect leader was delighted to see Long Chen attack. Now he would have even more reason to openly kill Long Chen. Execute your fucking mom. Why don't I just execute you too? Kang Mi enraged. His hammer once more smashing down. Courting death. Being entangled with Kang Mi Ying. The first monastery sect leader was completely furious. His aura completely erupted. Causing heaven and earth to rumble. But when his fist smashed into Kang Mi Ying's hammer. He was completely shocked. Late Xi'anshan realm. He finally realized that Kang Mi Ying had always been concealing his cultivation base. Now that he had released his aura. Kang Mi Ying had as well. Scram. While the first monastery sect leader was entangled with Kang Mi Ying, Long Chen had already charged over to Yun Wushuang. In front of her was a Xi'anshan elder. That elder roared and sent a palm crashing at Long Chen. Although this elder's words were just to scram, the powerful energy coming from his palm clearly showed this was a killing blow. Even meridian opening experts would be unable to receive this blow. But suddenly, a cold sword key pierced through that person's palm. That elder was absolutely horrified. His hand instantly exploded and he screamed, miserably flying back. Ling Yun Zi, how brazen. He let out a furious roar, as that sword key had come from Ling Yun Zi. Ling Yun Zi simply returned his sword to his sheath as if nothing had happened. He didn't even look at that person. Now, Long Chen arrived right next to Yun Wushuang. Without saying a word, the first thing he did was give her a slap in the face, breaking her just healed jaw. At the same time, his hand locked around her throat and killing intent surged out of his eyes. Chapter 465 10,000 Ants Devouring Your Heart Translator Born to be Long Chen had instantly caught Yun Wushuang, horrifying everyone. Yun Wushuang was a top expert, but why did it seem she didn't even have the slightest ability to resist in front of Long Chen? They didn't know that Yun Wushuang had already become terrified by Long Chen. When he appeared in front of her, her head would go blank, and her reactions would be slowed. Her first thought was that she was dead. The entire crowd was silent. Even now, they didn't understand what was going on. Space was constantly trembling as more and more people appeared. The various monastery disciples were returning. Quite a few of them were the ones who had helped to attack Long Chen. They were shocked to see that he was still able to capture Yun Wushuang despite everyone present. Yun Wushuang's life and death would be decided by a single thought from Long Chen. What? The others all died inside? What happened? The seventh monastery sect leader interrogated one of his core disciples. Whether it was the seventh monastery sect leader or the others, they were all shocked and infuriated by what they were seeing. They were demanding answers. Long Chen, release Yun Wushuang. Otherwise, your heavy sins will get even worse. The first monastery sect leader was infuriated the most. Yun Wushuang was a disciple from an ancient family, and she had only come here for tempering. If something happened to her, even he would be punished. But as a sect leader with a grand position, he was used to using his position to force others. Unfortunately, he was wrong. Long Chen did not submit to that. Fuck your heavy sins. You old, petty-minded trash. For some small matter, you actually wanted me to die within the secret realm. You had Yun Wushuang and Han Shian Iu set up all kinds of schemes against me, causing many of my good brothers to die. When it comes to heavy sins, you're the most outstanding. Fuck your mother. You actually dare let out such sanctimonious farts here. Was your face made out of leather? Cursed Long Chen. Nonsense. How dare you slander people so venomously. You raged the first monastery sect leader. Long Chen lightly swung his saber. And Yun Wushuang's arm fell from her body. Making everyone jump in shock. Long Chen actually dared sever Yun Wushuang's arm in front of this many people. Long Chen. Do you know Yun Wushuang's background? By doing this. You will cause your entire 108th monastery to be eradicated, roared the first monastery sect leader. Another arm fell. Yun Wushuang's face was pale as paper, and her whole body was trembling. However, her throat was caught by Long Chen, and she wasn't able to say a single thing. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Long Chen icily glared at him. His blood-colored saber pressed against Yun Wushuang's throat. The first monastery sect leader's expression completely changed. Long Chen had definitely gone crazy. 
Nobody's threats had any use and would only infuriate him instead. Ling Yunzi, do you not want to say anything to your disciple? The first monastery sect leader turned to icily glare at Ling Yunzi. Ling Yunzi merely smiled and said, Long Chen is my monastery's most outstanding disciple. I will support whatever he wants to do. As for your threat of destroying my 108th monastery, let them come. It matters not, you. The first monastery sect leader's expression grew exceedingly ugly. He hadn't expected Ling Yunzi to indulge Long Chen so much. Ha ha ha, good kid. This is what a hero should be like. Isn't the worst case just death? Unless you become an immortal or god, who won't die? Living should be all about doing as you please, repaying gratitude and enmity. If you are just terrified of every little thing, then what is the point of cultivating? Kang Ming patted Ling Yunzi's shoulder, laughing grandly. Suddenly, more people appeared. When they appeared, the crowd was startled and furious. Guo Ran was the first to appear, still wearing his armor. The original color of his armor was already hidden completely by blood. Countless pieces of flesh were still caught all over it, and a strong, bloody stench came from it. Tang Wanur, Wild, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifan all appeared. Only Luo Kang hadn't come because he was already dead. Boss, we've come. Seeing that Long Chen had caught Yun Wushuang, Guo Ran laughed heartily. As long as they could kill Yun Wushuang as revenge for their brothers, then even if they had to sacrifice their lives, they wouldn't hesitate for a moment. Seeing them, all the sect leaders were appalled. Every single one of them reeked of blood and was releasing boundless killing intent. Even Tang Wanner was covered in blood. Just how many people had these few killed? The most terrifying one was wild. Other than his eyes being black, his entire body was red. His spiked club still had a trail of intestines caught on it, and it seemed he wasn't even aware of it. Seeing them all arrive, Kang Ming and Ling Yunzi were both extremely moved. When Long Chen had come back on his own, they had assumed the others had already died. Kang Ming was especially excited. Seeing Wild had returned safe and sound, he almost started to dance with joy. Most exciting of all, each of them was like a divine blade that had finally been unsheathed, their sharpness capable of cutting apart the heavens. Even under the gaze of all these Xi'anchen experts, there wasn't the slightest unease on their faces. That meant that each of their mental realms had already arrived at the point of being unafraid of death, a state where honor or disgrace no longer mattered. Such a mental realm was something even experts that had cultivated for over a hundred years wouldn't necessarily be able to achieve. Long Chen, what do you want as compensation to release Yun Wushuang? Let me tell you, she is a disciple from an ancient family and that's not an existence you can provoke. You should be careful of her family tearing out your muscles and turning your bones to ashes. A pale Han Shian Ayu finally opened his mouth. He had just been healed by an expert, and his inner injuries were much better. However, his injuries had been too severe, and so he was still completely pale. His words caused Yun Wushuang to become filled with endless terror and fury. Both she and Han Shian Ayu knew Long Chen's temperament by now. He never submitted to any threat. For Han Shian Ayu to threaten Long Chen now, it was clearly because he was trying to infuriate him and have him kill Yun Wushuang. In that way, Yun Wushuang would be dead, and Long Chen would also be dead. It was precisely because she understood Han Shian Ayu's insidious scheme that her eyes filled with such rancor. Han Shian Ayu actually wanted her dead. Ha 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 ha. Han Shian Ayu, you really are a good guy. Thank you for reminding me. An ancient family is truly an enormous existence and I'm really scared of them. I've decided, I won't kill Yun Wushuang. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Then you should hurry up and release her, you little traitor. Treating her like this is already a blasphemy. Once you release her, you'll still definitely have to die as an apology. Panic flashed in Han Shian Ayu's eyes. If Long Chen didn't kill her, then his actions were still forgivable. Considering how talented he was, he wouldn't necessarily be killed. But what Han Shian Ayu wanted the most was for him to die no matter the cost. Yin Wushuang was filled with rancor. She had never dreamed that the man she loved would treat her like this. She wanted to bite him to death. But unfortunately, she had no jaw. Long Chen smiled. He took out three medicinal pills from his spatial ring and forced them down her throat. I won't kill you right now. I'll give you seven days to live. But you also don't need to thank me. Because during these seven days... You will feel 10,000 ants devouring your heart, 10,000 poisonous bugs sucking up your marrow, and 10,000 insects biting your soul. Unless you can find the legendary Thousand Heart Snow Lotus, your body will begin to decay as soon as those seven days are up. Your skin will rot first, 
and then your flesh, and then your bones. Most terrifying of all, you won't even be able to feel this corrosion. You'll be able to see your body slowly rotting and falling off, but you won't be able to feel any pain. That's because you'll have already felt all that pain during the first seven days. So you should feel very blessed. I'd advise you not to try any pills to expel the poison, because I personally made this poison pill, and there's no one else in the world who understands it. And so, your life is up to the heavens. If you can find the thousand heart snow lotus, then I suppose that means your life really is hardy. But if you can't find it, he, just quietly enjoy your last seven days. If you have any unfinished business, you should finish it quickly. For example, marrying and having children, said Long Chen. His voice was extremely calm, but it made people feel incredibly cold. Despite being surrounded by Xi'anchen experts, each of Long Chen's words was filled with confidence, and no one could doubt what he had said. Long Chen suddenly threw Yun Wushuang over to Han Xianayu, who hastily caught her. Han Xianayu was filled with disappointment, but he still acted ecstatic and excitedly said, Sister Wushuang, wonderful, that really scared me to death. Ah. Han Xianayu suddenly screamed as Yun Wushuang ruthlessly slammed her head against Han Xianayu's nose. His nose broke and he even began to tear up. One reason was that Han Xianayu had no defense up, while the other reason was how weak he currently was. As a result, his entire face became bloody. What shocked everyone was that even after smashing his nose, Yun Wushuang still viciously bit his nose as well. Although she had no lower jaw, she used purely her upper jaw strength to tear off his nose making Han Xianayu scream and kick her away. Only after she was kicked away did people see that Yun Wushuang's face was starting to darken and twist, and her body was constantly twitching. Everyone's hearts turned cold. They all thought of what Long Chen had just said. 10,000 ants devouring your heart, 10,000 poisonous bugs sucking up your marrow, and 10,000 insects biting your soul. Long Chen, how dare you be so vicious to a member of the same sect, shouted the first monastery sect leader. Shut your fucking mouth. We were vicious? Fuck your fucking mom. This idiot woman caused so many people to die. And you say we're vicious? Are you blind? Guo Ran could no longer hold back and directly cursed while pointing at the first monastery sect leader. Rebellion. The 108th monastery's disciples have killed members of the same sect viciously and cruelly. Everyone, help me capture them, shouted the first monastery sect leader. Over 20 Xi'anchen experts immediately rushed forward completely surrounded Ling Yunzi, Long Chen, and all the others. Stop. Just as the first monastery was planning on settling this matter in a single strike, a beautiful figure appeared in front of them. Chapter 466 Confrontation Between Sect Leaders Translator Born to be Hua Biluo Quite a few sect leaders cried out in shock upon seeing the second monastery's top disciple. As soon as she appeared, she walked directly to Long Chen's side and icily told the surrounding sect leaders. I am allied with Long Chen, and whoever makes an enemy of Long Chen will become enemies with my Hua family. Hua Biluo's words contained unquestionable resolve. Compared to before, she was like a completely different person, filled with insufferable arrogance and imposingness. This was not the Jiuli secret realm. This place belonged to the righteous path, and as someone who came from an ancient family, she had an illustrious status. That was the power of disciples from powerful families. Even in the face of Xi'anchen experts, they could still be completely confident. Seeing Hua Biluo stand by Long Chen's side, many people were stunned. Hua Biluo had always been the second monastery's secret weapon. But after entering the secret realm, Hua Biluo had shown her grandeur, shaking all the monasteries. Her background was no longer any secret. That made countless monasteries incredibly envious of the first and second monasteries. They both had ancient family disciples who had gone there for tempering. However, they didn't feel there was anything wrong with that. After all, the first and second monasteries definitely had that level of power, or the ancient families also wouldn't have sent their disciples to waste their time there. The second monastery sect leader was a bit startled, but he stood out and lightly said, Naturally my monastery's disciple can't be bullied by outsiders. He came to Hua Biluo's side and called out, Brother Wang, Brother Li. Brother Dong Fang, you should also come over. Over ten Xi'anchen experts immediately walked over. Those people were all allied with the second monastery. This time, the second monastery had truly decided to set themselves against the first monastery. Now, their full power was brought out. Xiao Yang Chang, are you sure you want to go against me? The first monastery sect leader's expression sunk. 
Shah Kishan, aren't you just wasting your breath? Your character is something everyone in the monasteries knows. It's no wonder even the junior generation looks down on you. Now even I'm looking down on you. This isn't the first time you've abused your power. But you normally at least try to keep it secret. Did you think we were blind all these years? Or did you really think your methods were so amazing that no one could see any clues? Everyone in the monasteries is well aware of you targeting Long Chen. The fact that Long Chen could survive under your sinister schemes means he definitely has both power and wisdom. Such a person is a blessing to our entire super monastery. But for a little selfish gain, you wanted to viciously kill this genius. Sometimes I suspect you're a double agent from the corrupt path, said Xiao Yang Chang, the second monastery sect leader. His words were extremely sharp, and each word contained righteous indignation, causing every person here to be filled with praise inside. The first monastery had suppressed everyone and controlled things in the dark for so long. When it came to the top geniuses from other monasteries, either they had to be drawn to their side or stealthily removed. However, although those monasteries in the lower rankings might be angry, they didn't dare say anything. Now that Xiao Yang Chang had exposed this, many of them were cheering with delight. However, that kind of emotion could only be kept on the inside. These Xi'anshan experts were all wily old foxes, and before a winner was decided, they definitely wouldn't pick a side. The first monastery and second monastery were now using Long Chen as an excuse to face off. As for who would be laughing at the end, it was still unknown. On the surface, it seemed the first monastery still had an absolute advantage. However, no one could predict the final result. On the side of the first monastery were 23 Xi'anshan experts, while on the second monastery's side, even with Ling Yunzi and Kang Miang, they only had 15. There was a clear power disparity. Most of the monasteries, whose relationship with the first and second monasteries were somewhat vague, now decided to be silent, not taking any side. They couldn't tell just which side was truly stronger. Each side had an ancient family supporting them. If they joined one side, that would offend the other. That was a difficult decision, and so they decided to just watch. As for those disciples that had managed to come out alive from the Jiuli secret realm, they looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression, not saying anything. They had personally witnessed Long Chen's unrevealed power. However, his enemies were now Xi'anshan experts. No matter how strong he was, he would only be slaughtered here. This time, the disciples who had managed to live were different from previous years. Previously, those monasteries ranked higher had more disciples who survived. While this time, every monastery in the top 50 had suffered calamitous losses. Some had even been completely eradicated. As for those ranked below 100, other than some that had died at the beginning in the secret realm, they had all lived to survive the battle at Two World Mountain. In all of history, the final righteous and corrupt battle was always the most desperate. Furthermore, those who died were always those weaker disciples. They were nothing more than prey for the strong. But this time, that final battle had become a battle to kill Long Chen. However, Long Chen hadn't been killed. And instead, it was those top experts from the righteous and corrupt paths who had been slaughtered. The ones who had suffered the greatest losses were the corrupt path. They had almost been completely eradicated. That was because the righteous disciples had been comparatively smarter. And once they saw the situation was not as they had expected. Many of them had laid down on the ground and pretended to be dead. Only when the exit had finally opened did they suddenly come back to life and activate their tablets. On the other hand, the corrupt disciples had attacked ruthlessly. But when they had run into Long Chen, who was even more ruthless than they were, it was fated for them to have a miserable ending. Their army of tens of thousands had been reduced to less than a thousand survivors. Of their top experts, it seemed it was only Yun Luo who had managed to escape half alive. Of course. The other half of him had been left in the secret realm and gathered by Mo Nian. It was unknown whether he could even still survive after such an injury. In the righteous path, those disciples unrelated to the first monastery, who were comparatively weaker and smarter, had mostly all survived. Those people had no relationship to the stronger powers, and they knew that in terms of strength, they were just cannon fodder. An aftershock from an attack could kill them. Furthermore, they knew it was impossible for them to get a favor from Huo Wufang. Only those stronger powers had the qualifications to form a relationship with the Pill Tower. In the beginning, there had been many disciples in neutral positions when Huo Wufang had called for their help. But then, those top experts had joined hands to target Long Chen's group, and so those neutral people gradually joined in. In truth, they had only done that as an act. 
They didn't even need to do anything as long as they acted imposing and followed the flow. But due to their act, they had ended up throwing their lives away. Originally, the righteous path should not have suffered so many losses. When Long Chen had shown how ruthless he was, many of them had retreated. But once he had started to merge with the primal chaos bead, they had immediately seen an opportune chance and charged forward. They could only blame themselves for the slaughter that had then occurred. It could be said that the reason most of these weaker disciples had managed to get out of the secret realm alive was because of Long Chen. But seeing Long Chen in danger, they chose to remain silent. They wanted to say what Long Chen had encountered in the secret realm, but they were afraid of offending the first monastery. So, their best option was to keep their mouths shut. Some of these disciples had even been allowed to clean up the battlefield by Mo Nian and were holding many spatial rings. But even they chose to stay silent. Seeing that Xiao Yang Chang was not giving him any face, Sha Kishan's fury soared. Xiao Yang Chang, don't fail to recognize right and wrong. Long Chen willfully slaughtered the innocent in the secret realm. That is an undeniable fact, and there are even photographic jades as evidence. In order to curry favor with the Hua family, you act like you have a conscience? Do you even have a sense of shame? Do you even place the Zhuanshan Supermonastery in your eyes? Sha Kishan. Don't bother acting so sanctimonious and righteous. I trust my disciple, and since she trusts Long Chen, I also trust Long Chen, sneered Xiao Yang Chang. Then there's nothing more to say. Everyone, you've also seen that Long Chen is a vicious murderer, the scum of the righteous path. Today, we can't let this traitor escape alive. Let me see just how you plan on protecting a tendon transformation traitor, roared Sha Kishan. All of you listen. Suddenly. A voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. That was Ling Yunzi voice. However, Ling Yunzi was still facing the front and hadn't made any odd movements. But Long Chen noticed Tang Wan or Gu Yang, and the others also had jumped ever so slightly. So it seemed they were hearing his voice as well. This was a spiritual communication, and due to how close they all were, such faint spiritual fluctuations wouldn't draw other people's attention. Once the battle starts, all of you immediately run. This is a battle of Xianchen experts, and none of us can protect you. A single aftershock can instantly kill you. Long Chen, you especially have to run quickly. You're Sha Kishan's target. Only by killing you can he cover up his scheme. Sha Kishan has a deep relationship with the Super Monastery, and if you die, he will be able to easily hide the truth from the public. But as long as you get away, the other disciples should be safe. No matter how brazen Sha Kishan is. He wouldn't dare get rid of so many geniuses. In a bit, all of you run. Get as far away from the battlefield as possible. And try to get Long Chen a chance to escape. Said Ling Yunzi. Long Chen thought about it for a moment and stealthily took out a talisman from his spatial ring. Hiding behind Ling Yunzi, he pressed it into his hand. It's useless. That's just a minor thousand world talisman. It can only be used within secret realms. Here, the heavenly Deus laws restrict its usage. Make your preparations. They're about to attack, said Ling Yunzi. Attack, shouted Sha Kishan. Sha Kishan, let me accompany you for a while. Xiao Yang Chang sent a fist smashing at Sha Kishan. Considering this was a face off in monastery rankings, he had to face Sha Kishan and display his power. Otherwise, how would he compete with the first monastery? Leave. Following Ling Yunzi's transmission, Long Chen and the others all began to rush away. Each of them wore a heavy cloak so others couldn't see their faces. Ha ha ha, you want to run? Stay behind. The seventh monastery sect leader sneered and appeared right in front of them. Suddenly, a cold sword key slashed down from the sky at the seventh monastery sect leader. Chapter 467 If I don't kill you, I'm not human. Translator, born to be the seventh monastery sect leader suddenly felt his whole body turn cold, and a burst of pain came from his palm. His hand had been pierced straight through by a ray of sword key. Ling Yunzi, the seventh monastery sect leader was infuriated. While it was true that everyone was now exchanging blows, it was really just for show. No one else had released a vicious attack like Ling Yunzi. If you want to kill my disciples, you'll have to do it over my corpse. Ling Yunzi also glared back at those sect leaders who were eager to capture Long Chen and the others. The killing intent in his eyes was not at all concealed. Ling Yunzi was currently like an awakened divine blade that had finally left its sheath. His sharp aura made them all feel a heavy pressure. Sword intent soared out of him, and if anyone dared take another step, they would meet with the thunderous strike Novaloon.com as a sword cultivator. Ling Yunzi had researched the sword Dao for many years. 
his level of comprehension had already reached a terrifying point. Ever since he had managed to free himself from his heart devil, his mental realm had reached a flawless point, and he had reached the realm where his mind and sword were connected. Right now, Kang Ming was fighting two Xi'anshan experts on his own, while the others had also found their own opponents. However, the first monastery side still had more experts. There were still six people free to attack, and naturally they knew that Sha Kishan's goal was Long Chen, so they immediately chased after him. However, Ling Yunzi stopped all of them by himself. The sharp aura coming from him made them shiver. Furthermore, ever since they had become sect leaders, they had practically never exchanged blows with people again. After living in grandeur for so long, they had already forgotten what it felt like to fight, and they had lost that fearless determination a warrior needed. What are you all hesitating for? Hurry up, or Long Chen will escape Sha Kishan furiously roared while fighting Xiao Yang Chang, his voice containing a bit of panic. Long Chen was the crux of this entire matter. Once Long Chen was killed, all his problems would be resolved. No one would bother with a dead person. But if he didn't die, then that would create countless variables. Furthermore, Han Shian Ayu had also told him that Yun Wushuang had already exposed that it was he who had incited this entire matter by trying to have Long Chen killed. That completely infuriated Sha Kishan. If it weren't for Yun Wushuang's background, he would have long since slapped her to death. Now his only hope was to kill Long Chen. In the end, he could just fabricate some random excuses, and this matter would blow over. The dead could not testify. However, Xiao Yang Chang was also a late Xi'anshan expert, and the two of them were relatively even in power. Even if he was slightly stronger, he could not defaturing Xiao Yang Chang without an extremely long period of time. It was impossible for him to personally attack Long Chen. Now seeing six people were stopped by just Ling Yunzi. He cursed them for being useless. If this continued, Long Chen really would manage to flee, and then it would truly become troublesome. Attack together. The seventh monastery sect leader hastily took out his weapon when he heard Sha Kishan's fury, and he charged at Ling Yunzi. Boom. The six of them attacked at the same time. Xi'anshan power colliding explosively. Ling Yunzi faced them head on, causing a huge explosion. Long Chen and the others, who were already several miles away, immediately felt a terrifying key wave strike them and send them flying, but they didn't dare look back, they knew that as long as Long Chen managed to escape, this battle would count as their victory, die, facing six people, Ling Yunzi was struck so hard that his key and blood were surging inside him, after all, he was only at the mid Xi'anshan realm, and sword cultivators didn't specialize in brute force, with a sudden cry, his sword began to shine, and killing intent locked down one of the sect leaders, PFFT, AHH, that person was only at the early Xi'anshan realm, and as a result, most of his upper body broke into pieces, heavens, Ling Yunzi really wants to kill, those distant spectating sect leaders expressions all changed, within the super monastery, there were countless fights and struggles, the power struggle never ended, however, they had never seen actual sect leaders fighting each other so intensely, let alone sect leaders trying to take the lives of other sect leaders, that sect leader's reactions had been fast. The instant that sword key had been about to strike him, he had turned to the side. Otherwise, he would have been cut in half. Although his upper body was a mess right now, as a Xi'anshan expert, he had a powerful life force. He could absorb spiritual key to regrow his flesh, but that required a certain amount of time, time in which his combat ability would be much lower. Furthermore, his courage was truly broken now, and he hastily retreated. Consuming a medicinal pill, he directly left the battlefield. Ling Yunzi, how dare you be so vicious, raged the seventh monastery sect leader. Ling Yunzi actually dared to slaughter sect leaders for just a disciple. I, Ling Yunzi, have no sons or daughters. My disciples are my children. Since you want to kill my children in front of me, there's nothing left to say. Die, with an icy cry. Sword key soared into the sky and a terrifying pressure caused heaven and earth to change color. The five of them were immediately enveloped by sword light. Ling Yunzi's the only sword cultivator among all the sect leaders in the super monastery. This pressure is terrifying. Sword cultivators were praised as number one in terms of offense. Even five against one. The five of them were miserably suppressed. Several of them almost died beneath Ling Yunzi's sword. Ling Yunzi was shocking all the various sect leaders. They finally understood a sword cultivator's power. Ling Yunzi's combat ability was definitely not at all inferior to Sha Kishan. Sun Jiangsheng, hurry and go kill Long Chen. 
Sha Kishan suddenly shouted. In the crowd of spectators, one of the sect leader's expressions completely changed, and he couldn't help but curse inside. Sha Kishan wanted him to display his loyalties. If he didn't go, that was equivalent to completely falling out with Sha Kishan. If he did go, that was equivalent to offending Zhao Yangchang and the Hua family. Sun Jiangsheng cursed his bad luck. There were so many people present, but Sha Kishan had just had to pick him. In the end, he clenched his teeth and chased after them. But he had only just taken a step when Sword Light mercilessly slashed down on him. He jumped back and hastily retreated. That Sword Light had split apart the ground where he had been. Everyone, block him. Just now, Ling Yunzi had managed to force back the five of them to send an attack at Sun Jiangsheng, but he had dodged. At this time, the seventh monastery sect leader roared and charged forward. He needed to keep Ling Yunzi tied down. Ling Yunzi roared furiously and a powerful cry came from his sword as Xi'anshan power erupted. The distant spectators' expressions all changed, and they hastily pulled their disciples behind them and fled. Boom. Ling Yunzi was truly fighting all out now, but the other five also erupted with their full strength. At this moment, Ling Yunzi was fighting as if his life was on the line, and the slightest negligence might cause one of them to die. However, in the end, Ling Yunzi was not able to throw them off. He could only watch as Sun Jiangsheng charged in Long Chen's direction. However, none of them noticed that other than Sun Jiangsheng, another furtive figure had also secretly chased after them. Long Chen and the others were almost a hundred miles away when Sun Jiangsheng caught up. A Xi'anshan expert's speed was not something they could compare to. Long Chen, so sorry, but I'll need to borrow your head, sneered Sun Jiangsheng. With a wave of his hand, a huge palm image flew out, enveloping all of them. Boom. Everyone was miserably blown through the air. Gu Yang and the others all vomited blood, feeling like their bodies would collapse. Although this was just a random blow that hadn't even been aiming to take their lives, Xi'anshan power was simply not something they could block. In front of a Xi'anshan expert, they were as weak as an ant. That was the difference between them, and there was no way to make up for it. Haha, I finally found you, laughed Sun Jiangsheng. That attack of his had been to find which one of them was Long Chen. Another palm came crashing for Long Chen. Terrifying Xi'anshan power completely bound Long Chen, making it so he was unable to even move. Just at this moment, the dragon scale within his body trembled ever so slightly. Unbeknownst to Long Chen, a majestic energy began to condense within it. But a moment later, it dissipated. Just try and touch him. Suddenly, Hua Biluo appeared in front of Long Chen, icily glaring at Sun Jiangsheng with disdain. You. Sun Jiangsheng's soul almost departed from his body in fright. He hastily pulled back his palm. If he killed Hua Biluo, he would die a tragic end. Even though his cultivation base had reached the late Xi'anshan realm, pulling back a full strength attack was still challenging for him. To suddenly pull back his attack was equivalent to having his attack land on himself, and he would have to take it without any defenses. Forcibly withdrawing his attack, he choked, and his inner organs almost flipped within him. At this time, Hua Biluo's sword was already stabbing towards his throat, startling and infuriating Sun Jiangsheng. He sent a palm to slam into her sword. Bang! Her sword exploded, and Hua Biluo vomited a mouthful of blood before fainting. Suddenly, an armored Guo Ran appeared behind Sun Jiangsheng and grabbed him. He shouted, Boss, hurry and run. Fuck off. Sun Jiangsheng furiously struck Guo Ran in his chest. A huge dent appeared in his armor, and Guo Ran instantly fainted. However, he still tightly held on. Die. Suddenly, the mark on Wild's forehead once more lit up, and his spiked club came smashing at Sun Jiangsheng. Scram. Sun Jiangsheng punched out, shattering Wild's club and sending him flying. Wild repeatedly vomited blood, and his arm became completely deformed. Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifeng crazily attacked Sun Jiangsheng. Run boss. It'll be fine as long as you get away. Boom. Gu Yang was blown back. His golden spear shattered. He landed on the ground in the distance. It was unknown whether he was alive or dead. Sun Jiangsheng. I, Long Chen, swear if I don't kill you, I'm not human. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen furiously roared. A white figure appeared. Long Chen jumped onto Little Snow's back and shot into the distance. Chapter 468 Chased Down Desperately Translator Born to be the previous plan was for everyone to cover Long Chen, and when they were far away enough, they were to split up to confuse the others. But that plan hadn't succeeded. They had barely gotten anywhere before Sun Jiangsheng had caught up. 
Long Chen no longer needed to have any more misjivings, and he directly summoned out Little Snow to run as fast as possible. Bastards, don't think I don't dare kill you, Sun Jai Anxian furiously roared. Song Mingguan and the others were risking their lives to hold him back. The most infuriating one would have to be Guo Ran. He had wrapped his arms around Sun Jai Anxian's waist and no matter what he did, Guo Ran refused to come off. Finally, Sun Jai Anxian furiously slammed his palm on Guo Ran's shoulder and his terrifying Xi'anshan power completely broke apart Guo Ran's arm. Scram! With a final roar, Sun Jiangsheng erupted with his full power, sending Song Mingguan and all the others flying. They vomited blood and then fainted. When he finally turned to follow Long Chen, he saw that Long Chen had long since disappeared. Little Snow was too fast, and when Sun Jiangsheng went past the next mountain, he saw a vast river on the other side, and Long Chen's tracks had disappeared. Adopt Little Snow! Long Chen was tightly clutching his fur, his eyes surging with icy killing intent. He was clenching his teeth so tightly that his gum was bleeding. Sha Kishan, Sun Jiangsheng, just wait. Haha, <laughs> there's no need to wait, because your life is mine. Suddenly, a woman's voice rang out from behind him. Long Chen hastily looked back with shock, seeing a woman smiling at him sinisterly. Luo Bing, the one following him was Luo Bing the one who had brought her 36th monastery's disciples to provoke the 108th monastery, only to leave dejectedly in failure. Luo Bing was currently filled with killing intent. Despite fleeing as fast as he could, Long Chen could not throw her off. Long Chen, you really do have quite the abilities to be able to escape from Sun Jiangsheng. He, did you think you were already safe? Haha, <laughs> as soon as you left, I was secretly following you, all to make sure you didn't escape. Looks like a woman's intuition is really the best, as you really did manage to escape. Unfortunately, no matter how far you run, you won't be able to escape me. Today, I'll return the humiliation you gave me by ten times no, a hundred times. Ha ha ha, laughed Luo Bing. Long Chen's heart sunk. He hadn't expected this woman to have secretly followed him like this. Now it was truly troublesome. Do you know why I went through this trouble? It's because I'm very curious just what thing you have that allows you to grow this fast. He, the heavens really haven't let me down. They gave me a chance to get all the benefits for myself. Ha ha ha, don't be afraid. I will definitely take care of you properly. Luo Bing's voice was full of excitement. HMPH, you old, ugly BTCH. You look like some shoehorn that transformed and took human form. Don't spout your bile for others, insulted Long Chen. But although that was what he said. He was racking his head for ways to escape. Even if Luo Bing was trash as a person, she was still a Xi'anshan expert, and he was definitely not a match for her. The only possible way for him to escape was to come up with some scheme. But Long Chen had truly exhausted all his abilities, and his head was empty. You still want to run? You want to use words to infuriate me and give you a quick death? Stop dreaming. I won't let you die so happily. I will make you feel endless despair as your life slowly trickles away from you. Luo Bing clenched her teeth. As Little Snow crazily raced along, he let out a loud roar, communicating with Long Chen. Little Snow was thinking of using their combined attack again. However, Long Chen shook his head. Currently, perhaps he might have enough spiritual key for that, but his pill flame had only recovered to 20%. With only that level of power, their combination attack wouldn't be able to cause any effective injuries to a Xi'anshan expert. Xi'anshan experts had already surpassed the category of ordinary Haoshan cultivators. They could control natural energy, and the battle skills used by Haoshan cultivators were usually unable to menace them. In the cultivation world, there were some geniuses who could fight across realms. However, the gap between Xi'anshan and Haoshan was not one so easily crossed. And so there was a saying in the cultivation world that the cultivators below the Xi'anshan realm were less than ants. When you reached the Xi'anshan realm, your Haoshan spiritual key would transform into Xi'anshan spiritual key. But that was not all. Entering the Xi'anshan realm caused a complete transformation in the body, and a person's longevity would increase to over a thousand years. Furthermore, the strength of a Xi'anshan expert's spiritual key was a completely different concept compared to Haoshan spiritual key, and there was simply no comparison. So even though Long Chen was powerful, he wasn't delusional enough to think he could use his own power to defa a Turing Luo Bing, let alone a tendon transformation rookie. Even a genius meridian opening expert would find it impossible to defeat Turing a mediocre Xi'anshan expert. Ha ha ha, I really like your current expression. Keep struggling. 
keep trying to think of ways to save yourself. I like it. Luo Bing laughed and simply followed Little Snow, not getting any closer or further. Little Snow's speed had reached his peak, and just the wind force was something that would make a person's face hurt, but they were still unable to throw her off. Long Chen's expression was grave. He was thinking as fast as he could, but he wasn't able to come up with any way to throw her off. It was just as he said, in front of absolute strength. All schemes were useless, but in this case, it was Luo Bing who had the absolute power. She wasn't in a hurry to do anything. It was only because she allowed it that Long Chen could still continue running while she followed. She was just playing a game of cat and mouse, wanting to play Long Chen to death. Suddenly, the terrain became very level, and an endless, barren land appeared. Ha ha ha, this is the burial ground you've chosen for yourself? The scenery really is not bad, and this place also isn't that far from your monastery. How surprising, you actually have such feelings towards your monastery and even in death, you want to die nearby, sneered Luo Bing. Luo Bing's words caused a spark to light up in Long Chen's mind. He suddenly thought of a certain thing, perhaps that thing really would be able to save his life at this time. Long Chen had little snow act as if he was terrified. That was what Luo Bing wanted to see, and perhaps it could stall her for a bit longer. At the same time, Long Chen looked carefully at the surroundings, trying to match it up to the map in his head. However, the surroundings were all just a barren land, and there was nothing easily distinguishable. Just running like this is a bit boring. It'd be better to play a little game, don't you think? I'll first sever one of your legs, and you can continue running. Luo Bing suddenly got tired of this game and took out a sword. Sword Key came slashing at Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook. Had she finally run out of patience? A blood-colored saber appeared in Long Chen's hands, and a saber image soared into the sky, ruthlessly slamming into Luo Bing's sword. Boom. Dust exploded. Long Chen and Little Snow were both sent flying. They tumbled back several miles before stopping. Long Chen was horrified. Xianchen power was even more terrifyingly powerful than what he had thought. Ah. So you actually have a Xianchen weapon. He, even if you don't have any other treasures, just that saber means I'll profit a great deal today. Luo Bing's eyes lighted upon Bloodrinker. Little Snow suddenly roared and a sphere of wind blades shot out like lightning at Luo Bing. Luo Bing was slightly surprised, and green light shot out of her sword. Long Chen's heart sunk. Little Snow's full strength attack was split in two by Luo Bing easily. It didn't pose any threat at all. It had to be known that after absorbing the barbaric wind beasts Needon, Little Snow's wind blades had already surpassed the limit of a fourth rank magical beast's attack power, and was on the same level as a fifth rank magical beast. But such a terrifying attack was easily obliterated by Luo Bing. Not bad. What a curious magical beast. Interesting. I wonder, just how many trump cards do you have? Only like this will the game be interesting. Luo Bing smiled sinisterly. Run. Long Chen jumped onto Little Snow's back, and they once more crazily fled. Long Chen needed to find it, or he didn't have the slightest hope of getting away. But Luo Bing was too fast. She crossed a dozen miles with a single step and instantly caught up, slashing out again. This time, Luo Bing had struck with twice as much power as last time, causing Long Chen to vomit a mouthful of blood. Even Little Snow was injured. Long Chen and Little Snow repeatedly fled, while Luo Bing followed each time launching five consecutive blows. Each time, she would double her power, causing Long Chen to constantly vomit blood. But Long Chen bitterly endured. He had to find it. Little Snow wouldn't be able to hold on for much longer. His inner organs were already injured, but he still brought Long Chen racing forward as fast as possible. When Luo Bing attacked again, Long Chen returned Little Snow to his spiritual space. This attack was too terrifying. Long Chen couldn't act weak any longer or he would take a heavy injury for this. Split the heavens. Two stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and his divine ring shook the heavens, bringing his power to his peak. Boom. A terrifying key wave exploded out, creating a huge hundred-mile crater in the desert. The world became full of flying sand. Luo Bing was shocked. She was actually forced back a mile by that power, and when the sand scattered, Long Chen was already a hundred miles away. Where do you think you're going? Luo Bing roared furiously and chased after him. She was now filled with an even greater desire to know Long Chen's secrets. She had to obtain them. This time, Luo Bing was no longer so careful with her attack power. She began to truly use her Xianchen power against Long Chen. She was shocked to find that even after using almost 80% of her Xianchen power, Long Chen was still able to receive her attacks. However, 
Long Chen was repeatedly coughing up blood, and his hand was bleeding. Against a Xi'anchen expert, he still had no chance. Boom. Long Chen was once more blown back several miles, repeatedly flipping through the air miserably. Furthermore, after all this intense fighting, his spiritual key had sharply declined. His divine ring disappeared, and those stars in his eyes faded. Am I doomed to die here today? Ugh. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Suddenly, he saw a small hill in the distance and he was filled with endless hope. He began to speed toward that hill as fast as he could. Chapter 469 Terrifying Earth Flame Translator Born to be Long Chen was filled with ecstasy as he rushed towards that hill. Luo Bing shot off in hot pursuit. She had sensed the change in Long Chen's mood. A sinister smile crept onto her face when she saw Long Chen rush towards that hill. That was not actually a hill, but a round boulder 300 meters wide. It was simply eroded by the wind all year round. So it looked like a mound of earth. It had been over a year since Long Chen had seen that hill, but he recognized the marks he had left behind with just a glance. He sent a fist crashing into the hill. The rock door exploded, revealing the entrance. Long Chen rushed in without even thinking about it. You ran like this to find yourself a burial mound. Luo Bing entered right behind Long Chen. Seeing this round mound, she smiled mockingly. However, she was extremely crafty. She stood at the cave entrance and stared at Long Chen. This was where he would die. He couldn't possibly run out of this cave with her blocking the entrance. She wanted to see just what trick Long Chen was playing. Entering the cave, Long Chen saw some broken eggshells to the side. Those were Little Snow's masterpiece. At the center of the cave was a 30-meter pool of lava. The surging lava emitted a terrifying heat. Long Chen stood at the edge of the lava. You're right. This place really is the burial ground I chose for myself. I really want to know. If I jump, what will happen? Long Chen lightly looked at Luo Bing with an icy smile. Luo Bing's expression suddenly changed. If Long Chen jumped into this lava, his corpse would disappear. Then all the treasures and secrets he had on him would also disappear forever. I don't believe that you'll dare jump in. Luo Bing put on a brave face. Are you an idiot? I already know that I'll die. And if I land in your hands, I really won't have a good death. Why wouldn't I dare jump? Sneered Long Chen. Listen to me. Long Chen stopped. Long Chen shouted, don't get any closer, you want to use some secret technique to capture me? Keep dreaming, if you take another step closer, I'll immediately jump into the lava, and you won't obtain anything. Long Chen could easily see through Luo Bing's intentions. At this moment, Luo Bing was less than 30 meters away, that was an extremely dangerous distance. Fine, fine, I won't move, let's just discuss this. If you hand over your cultivation technique and battle skills, I promise I won't kill you. Luo Bing raised her hand and swore. However, she was sneering inside. She wouldn't kill Long Chen, but she could crush all his bones and then seal him inside this cave. Then he would still definitely die, while it still wouldn't count as breaking her promise. Staring at Luo Bing, was it possible for Long Chen to not realize this? Such methods were things Long Chen had grown tired of playing with ages ago. He saw through her thoughts in an instant. However, his eyes seemed to light up, and with a hesitating voice, he asked, You promise you won't kill me? I, Luo Bing, swear I will definitely not kill you. If I betray this oath, let my soul be burnt by flames and turn me to dust. Luo Bing swore solemnly, but a vicious light shone in the depths of her eyes. That was something that couldn't possibly escape Long Chen. Ah, why have you still not come out yet? Big bro earth flame, hurry up and come out. I'm just waiting for you to save my life. Long Chen prayed inside. This was the cave Long Chen had noticed back on his journey to the Zhuanshan Monastery. Back then, Long Chen had been chased by the giant desert scorpions. He had noticed light coming from here and rushed over. After killing the flame salamander, he had noticed this earth flame. Now after being chased in this vicinity, Long Chen had thought of its existence again, and he had placed his hopes on it. But right now, the lava was constantly surging, and the earth flame refused to reveal itself. That made Long Chen feel slightly panicked. Let me think about it a bit. But don't get any closer. Your character is too rotten for me to trust you just like that. Give me some time. Warned Long Chen. Luo Bing's expression sunk. Long Chen's words were no different than a slap in her face. Killing intent surged out of her eyes. But she controlled herself and icily said. Fine. I will give you an incense stick's worth of time to consider it. Long Chen wanted to say an incense stick's worth of time was too short and ask for a few hours, but that would definitely draw Luo Bing's suspicions. He decided not to say anything and acted as if he were contemplating. In truth, 
All his focus was on the lava pool behind him. All right, it's been an incense stick's worth of time. Have you considered it? Said Luo Bing icily. What nonsense. It's only been a single breath's time so far. How was this an incense stick's worth of time? Who do you think you're trying to scare? TCH. Do you even have any sincerity? Has your head turned to crap? How about I just throw myself into the lava right now? Raged Long Chen as he took a jumping posture. In truth, it really had been an incense stick's worth of time. But Long Chen refused to acknowledge that. Continuing to act furious. No. Don't jump. You're just too nervous and can't feel the flow of time. I'll give you another incense stick's worth of time. Luo Bing hastily stopped him. Don't treat me like someone who doesn't know how to count. How could an incense stick's worth of time have passed so quickly? You clearly are just forcing me and have no sincerity. Long Chen angered Luo Bing so much that she turned purple. She tightly clenched her sword, wishing to directly cut Long Chen in half. But for Long Chen's secrets, she endured. Suddenly, the lava pool emitted a faint rumble. Long Chen hastily pointed at Luo Bing and cursed. You idiot woman. Did you really think I'd hand my secrets over to you? If I were someone as ugly and disgusting as you, I'd have long since killed myself. You want my secrets? Just keep dreaming. A trash woman like you. An idiot to the peak die. Luo Bing had already been trembling on the verge of exploding. Now that Long Chen once more insulted her, she finally lost control and slashed a ray of sword key at Long Chen. However, Long Chen had long since been waiting for that and dodged to the side. Her attack ended up going past Long Chen. Just at that moment, waves of lava exploded as a foot-high blue flame floated out, its body semi-transparent. As soon as it appeared, a terrifyingly high temperature filled the air. Luo Bing's sword key descended down upon it. Earth flame. Luo Bing let out a shrill shriek. Boom. She had reacted too late. The instant her sword slashed down on the earth flame, it caused a massive explosion that blew apart the cave. Long Chen was also sent flying by that terrifying power. A terrifying pressure descended upon the world. It was as if heaven and earth had become enraged. A blue light enveloped an area of several miles, and the terrifying heat caused even the sand to melt. A-H-H. -H. Luo Bing shrieked miserably. Her entire body was covered by the blue earth flame. She quickly took out a bell that released a light that forced the earth flame away from her body. But that earth flame seemed to have been provoked, and it coiled around her like a blue flame dragon. Her little bell was growing dimmer by the second. As for Long Chen, despite being protected by his pill flame, he felt as if his entire body was about to burn to ashes. Earth flames were born from Mother Earth. It was said their power was capable of burning the heavens, vaporizing the seas, and refining the mountains. This particular earth flame was one that had only just been born, and it had still not reached its full power. But even just its present power was truly too terrifying. So terrifying that Long Chen should have immediately turned and fled. However, his disease had recurred. He felt like his legs were locked in place, and he was unable to move. If I manage to take it, then even against Xi'anchen experts, I should have some ability to fight. Long Chen's heart pounded fervently. Blood Essence Grand Art. Luo Bing suddenly shouted and her blood key erupted. By using a secret technique to ignite her blood key, she crazily resisted the earth flame. Considering how strong earth flames were, they would be able to instantly kill a Xi'anchen expert without the slightest effort. But this earth flame had only just been born. It was still in an infantile state, so its power was limited. The other reason it wasn't capable of killing Luo Bing instantly was because its intelligence was very low. It didn't know how to attack. It only knew how to wrap around Luo Bing. That was the only reason she was able to resist it. However, this blood essence grand art used up too much of her Xi'anchen essence blood. If she used up too much of that, she would descend from Xi'anchen to Haoshan, and she would never be able to reach the Xi'anchen realm again. But considering the situation, she couldn't care too much about that. She could only resist the earth flame as best as she could. The earth flame looked like a translucent blue flame dragon as it coiled around her body, refusing to let go of this person who had just attacked it. Boom. Luo Bing pushed her power to the peak. The ground was constantly collapsing, and powerful key waves made it hard for Long Chen to breathe. He felt like a mountain was crushing him. The Xi'anchen realm really is terrifying. Although Luo Bing is only at the early Xi'anchen realm, she could easily crush me. Now Long Chen was absolutely certain that if Luo Bing had wanted him dead, he would have long since departed from this world. The only reason he was still alive was because she had been greedy for his secrets. That made Long Chen sweat. The difference was truly too great. Crap. 
The earth flame is getting weaker too. Long Chen jumped in fright. The earth flame was no longer acting as fierce as before. Luo Bing had also sensed that, which filled her with delight and hope. However, although the earth flame was weakening, it wasn't a sudden decline, but gradual. If Luo Bing wanted to throw it off, it would exhaust a great deal of her power as well. Furthermore, as Luo Bing ignited her Xi'anchen essence blood, her own power was weakening. She was horrified to find that if this continued, then perhaps she really might end up exhausted first. Most terrifying of all, there was still Long Chen to the side. Thinking of how ruthless Long Chen was, her blood turned cold. Scram! Luo Bing suddenly erupted with a burst of power, charging her way out of the earth flame's entanglement. Just as she struggled free and her nerves relaxed ever so slightly, a green light flew over and cut through her neck. A head flew into the sky. Chapter 470 Primal Chaos Bead Displays Its Power Translator Born to be just as Luo Bing escaped the earth flame's bindings and she relaxed ever so slightly, a green light flew over and pierced through her neck. Before Luo Bing even understood what was happening, she felt as if her field of view was changing. She also saw a familiar body that no longer had a head. She also saw a palm-sized green scale fly back into Long Chen's hand. Right now, Long Chen didn't even look at her. He was fervently staring at the earth flame. I died? I died to attend in transformation brat. That was Luo Bing's last thought before she descended into endless darkness. She wasn't a soul cultivator, and her spiritual strength was even slightly weaker than average. Now that her neck was severed, her soul quickly dissipated. At important times, you really are reliable. Long Chen properly put away the dragon scale. Its sharpness was not at all lacking in comparison to the golden page, and in terms of offensive strength, it was incomparably greater. But unfortunately, this dragon scale had existed for who knew how long. A lot of its spirituality had been lost. Thus, Long Chen needed to nourish it with his mind in order to let it recover. However, before it could recover, it had ended up losing even more of its core energy due to Long Chen using it repeatedly to battle. That made him feel extremely guilty. He swore that he would avoid using the dragon scale as much as possible so that it could recover. Now his attention was completely focused on the earth flame. At this time, the earth flame had shrunk to the size of a foot, looking like a translucent little dragon curiously looking at Long Chen. Hey, little friend, do you want to come play with big bro? Long Chen's voice was full of temptation. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the earth flame actually did come over to him. However, it was extremely fierce, instantly erupting and enveloping him. Fuck, this is not what I wanted Long Chen hastily circulated his pill flame to defend. But his pill flame was actually rapidly declining. As Long Chen's pill flame decreased, the earth flame seemed to excitedly surge. It's treating my pill flame as food. Long Chen was startled and furious. His pill flame was rapidly running out, and in less than a breath's time, it had all been devoured by the earth flame. Realizing there was no more pill flame to consume, the earth flame became furious, and a terrifying heat attacked Long Chen. Damn it. Long Chen felt despair. At the same time, he had an urge to slap himself to death. Did he have to be so greedy? Just as Long Chen thought he was dead, his danchen suddenly shook and emitted a rumbling sound. The fierce earth flame immediately stopped attacking and released Long Chen. It seemed to be shivering, and it immediately turned to flee back into the lava pool. Buzz. Suddenly, space trembled, and the earth flame involuntarily flew back to Long Chen. Although it was struggling as hard as it could, it was useless. Long Chen also had no idea what was going on. All he saw was that despite the earth flame struggling all out, it still flew over, touched his abdomen, and then silently disappeared. He was dumbfounded, but when he thought of a certain possibility, he hastily looked inside himself and finally saw that bead in his danshan. His jaw dropped. Back when he had first merged with the primal chaos bead, a large amount of information had flooded his mind. At that time, he had been filled with inconsolable grief due to Ye's Hikyu's death and he hadn't had time to examine the changes that had occurred in his body. Now that he looked at the primal chaos bead again, he clapped himself in the head. He really was screwed. When the primal chaos bead had merged with him, some information had appeared in his head, but he hadn't looked through it. Now, that the information had disappeared, other than the fact that it was called the primal chaos bead, he knew nothing else at all about it. But the fact that that information had disappeared was also something he had no way of fixing. His mind entered the primal chaos bead, and he let out a startled cry. He felt as if he had entered a small world. This was a space of three miles, and the ground was completely barren. 
It was just a flat land with nothing on it. At the center of the space was a ball of flames. Currently, the earth flame seemed to be suppressed by something, and it was incredibly terrified. Long Chen also had no idea what this bead's abilities were for it to be able to suppress an earth flame, but he felt that it seemed just like a spatial ring. The only difference was that his soul was able to enter this world. Since you're called a primal chaos bead, then I'll call this the primal chaos space. Long Chen sized up his surroundings. This place was completely empty. However, it did possess a primal chaos aura that made him feel extremely comfortable. Suddenly, he let out a startled cry as he remembered something. Back when he had first entered the secret realm, he had been completely stuck at the peak of blood condensation. Breaking through had been impossible. But after entering the secret realm, he had almost immediately broken through. In other words, this world was lacking something that he needed in order to advance. But now that he had this primal chaos bead, he wouldn't need to go to any secret realms like that to advance. He walked up to the earth flame that was quivering in fear. Come with me. I'll make it worth your while. Although he didn't know how the primal chaos bead had suppressed the earth flame, Long Chen could sense that within the primal chaos space, he was the ruler. He could control everything here. It was an extremely strange feeling. So he didn't feel any more fear towards the earth flame. That was a feeling that came with having absolute control. As he attempted to communicate with the earth flame, it was still constantly quivering. Long Chen could sense that the only thing it was feeling was terror. That made him feel slightly helpless. But he had to find a way to make use of such a powerful weapon. Long Chen forcefully squeezed out another ball of his exhausted pill flame for the earth flame. The earth flame immediately transformed to become a small serpent that swallowed his pill flame with a single gulp. Now, Long Chen could sense a feeling of joy coming from it. There's hope. Long Chen hastily circulated his spiritual key to recover his pill flame, feeding it ball by ball to the earth flame. After a few dozen feedings, he clearly sensed the earth flame was feeling a bit friendlier towards him. Earth flames were things born from the world, and they had their own spirituality. However, this earth flame was still in its infancy and needed to be guided. Long Chen constantly fed it his pill flame. When he had fed it over a thousand balls, the little fellow finally stopped being terrified of him and became friendly, transforming into a blue serpent that coiled around his arm. It actually began to ask for more pill flame from him. Long Chen smiled. It was said that after an earth flame grew up, its intelligence wouldn't be any lower than a human's. However, when earth flames matured, they would become even more berserk and it was even harder to subdue them. So, if you wanted to subdue an earth flame, you needed to do it before it completely matured. Long Chen had truly benefited. Once this earth flame matured, it would become an extremely powerful killing tool for him. Most importantly, he could even use the earth flame for alchemy, which would allow him to refine even higher tier medicinal pills. Long Chen pushed out his pill flame as fast as possible for three straight days. He didn't even know how much of his pill flame had been fed to the earth flame during this time, but it finally completely calmed down. Now, it merged its way into Long Chen's arm, and a blue serpent tattoo appeared there. The tattoo was three inches long and remarkably lifelike. That meant the earth flame had already accepted Long Chen as its master. In the future, he would be able to use its flame energy for attacks. However, for now, the earth flame had descended into slumber, and Long Chen didn't want to wake it. Instead, he decided to experiment. Looking at the vast and empty primal chaos space, a certain possibility shook his heart. He took out a medicinal ingredient from his life ring. Although this life ring could keep herbs alive, their vitality would still be impacted, and they would become listless. After a moment's thought, Long Chen dug a hole and planted the herb. He was shocked to find that as soon as he planted the herb, it gradually recovered from its listless state, and in just a few breaths time, it began to thrum with vitality. This place can be used as a life ring, and it has a much better effect. Realizing that, Long Chen hastily dug a larger hole and planted the Killin fruit tree. As expected, it also quickly recovered. But the most exciting thing to him was that it was actually growing. He saw that the blossoms on the tree that had yet to bear fruit had clearly grown slightly in just a few breaths time. It can increase the rate of growth as well. That made Long Chen ecstatic. He hastily began to crazily plant all the medicinal ingredients from his life ring into the primal chaos space. Under his rapid planting, a large medicinal field appeared in the primal chaos space, and the entire area became filled with a dense spiritual key. Within this three-mile space, this medicinal field only took up a small portion, which made Long Chen feel like it was a waste. 
After pondering it for a moment, he decided to set a certain region for spatial rings he had picked up and whatever was inside them. Spatial rings were not very safe since they could easily break, and once they broke, everything inside them was doomed. He took out all the comparatively precious things in his spatial ring to a certain region on the edge of the space. The primal chaos space was connected to his mind. Placing and withdrawing items from it was even more convenient than using a spatial ring, and it was safer and faster. He also threw in the spatial rings he had gathered from battle. However, he didn't bother going through them. There were just too many of them, and he was too lazy to classify them. He decided to leave that work to Tang Wanner and the others. He trusted them to handle it. He was in the midst of tidying things up when he saw a certain something at his feet that made him turn expressionless. Chapter 471 Miraculous Primal Chaos Bead Translator Born to be no way. What Long Chen had noticed was a withered vine that had come from his spatial ring. It was a medicinal ingredient, but it was already completely dead. However, after landing on the ground, it had begun to thrum with life force again. Its cracked skin split apart and a soft shoot was currently growing out of the ground. Its leaves waved ever so slightly, seeming to be breathing. It can allow living things to grow and withered things to revive, transforming garbage to something miraculous. Long Chen was simply stunned as if he looked at the little shoot. Ha 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 ha. Then he suddenly laughed uproariously. This discovery made him practically go crazy with joy. He hastily found some more dead medicinal ingredients and planted them. In just a short time, those withered ingredients began to recover becoming green again. In less than an incense stick's time, he personally saw a medicinal ingredient go from dead to thriving. If he hadn't seen it personally, he wouldn't have dared to believe it. Whether it was a seed or a withered herb, Long Chen would be able to grow any medicinal ingredient in his primal chaos space. That made him think of a certain way to get rich. If he bought a medicinal herb that had almost gone extinct in the outside world, placed it in his primal chaos space, and then sold the medicinal herbs that were born from it then his profit would be in the hundreds or thousands of times. Long Chen had his pill god memories, but he had never managed to obtain that many medicinal ingredients to refine. This primal chaos space was practically tailor-made to him. Hmm, it seems this primal chaos space is something I can control slightly. Long Chen suddenly thought of how the Feng Fu battle armor he had summoned in the previous fight had been slightly different than usual. He began to slowly circulate the Feng Fu star and Aliyah star. Previously, their energy would directly pour into his body. But this time, it was different. Their energy was pouring into the primal chaos bead, and the primal chaos bead began to slowly revolve now. Primal chaos energy poured into his body, causing him to feel full of power. So that's how it is. My dantian was empty, and this primal chaos bead has now taken the place of my dantian. Then does that mean this was all foreordained? Someone with a dantian was unable to cultivate the nine-star hegemon body art while those without a dantian were unable of cultivation. Even Wilde had a dantian, but he didn't have other people's complicated meridians. He only had five meridians, four for each of his limbs and one for his head. As for Long Chen's dantian, it was something that had been destroyed after he was born. Long Chen thought of his pill god memories, the scenes that had appeared in his mind previously, as well as the primal chaos beat in his dantian now. That couldn't possibly be coincidence. Coincidences couldn't occur over and over like this, but if it wasn't coincidence, what was it? Whatever. In any case, I'm the one who benefits. Long Chen let his imagination run wild for a while, but he couldn't come up with anything plausible. Rather than just stupidly wasting time on that, he focused on the changes in the primal chaos bead. He noticed that the output of his Feng Fu star and Aliyah star directly affected how quickly the primal chaos bead rotated and how much power it released. Suddenly, the primal chaos bead stopped revolving, causing Long Chen to jump in shock. But then he laughed involuntarily. It wasn't a problem with the primal chaos bead, but because his spiritual key had run out, his Feng Fu star and Aliyah star had also stopped circulating. His previous struggle with Luo Bing had almost used up his spiritual key. Then his spiritual key had completely run out when fighting against the earth flame, and then again when he had been feeding it his pill flame. Now that little bit of spiritual key he had recovered had been used to circulate as two stars. It was no wonder his spiritual key was exhausted. After figuring out the principles of the primal chaos bead, Long Chen's attention once more focused on the primal chaos space. This space was something he could only enter with his spiritual strength. Now that he was inside, he was startled to find that quite a few of those medicinal ingredients he had planted had already blossomed. Furthermore, 
The hardest thing to believe was that the Killen fruit tree now had seven more flowers, and its immature Killen fruits had already become completely ripe. I really struck gold. Long Chen couldn't help clenching his teeth. If he didn't clench his teeth, he wouldn't be able to express his emotions. The primal chaos bead was actually able to increase the growth of plants by such an extent. It had to be known that the Killen fruits matured extremely slowly. These unripe Killen fruits would have required many months and perhaps even years to fully develop. However, now, years of growth had been condensed into just two incense sticks worth of time. How could that not make Long Chen go wild with joy? With enough Killen fruits, he could bring the Aeliof Star to its fully condensed state and summon the true two-star battle armor. Currently, he was able to summon out the two-star battle armor, but one of the stars that appeared in his eyes was extremely faint. It wasn't the true two-star battle armor and he was sure that once both stars were fully condensed, its power would be incomparable. Thinking of that, Long Chen did his best to calm himself down. He felt a bit dizzy from the Primal Chaos Bead's heaven-defying abilities. Wait, if the Primal Chaos Bead can revive dead plants, then does it have an effect on humans as well? A brazen idea suddenly popped into Long Chen's head. He gathered Luo Bing's corpse into the Primal Chaos space, throwing her spatial ring to the side. He planted her onto a specific batch of earth at the center of the space. Within the primal chaos space, all the soil was yellow. Only at the center was there a three meter wide patch of black soil. Black soil should be more fertile than yellow soil. Let's try it. Previously, Long Chen had already noticed that patch of black soil, but whenever he looked at it, he felt it was a bit frightening. So he hadn't planted his medicinal ingredients there. Despite being the master of the primal chaos space, Long Chen still felt intimidated by this black soil. He decided to use Luo Bing's body to test it. He dug a hole in the black earth and stuck her in feet first, planting just half of her. If the earth was a precious resource, then this really was an excellent method. This way, he saved on space and on the cost of a tombstone. After burying her, Long Chen closely observed her neck. If Luo Bing really did grow out a new head, then he would immediately summon the earth flame to kill her. On the extremely off chance she revived, then he really was afraid he might not be able to handle her. But after several breaths time, nothing changed with Luo Bing's headless corpse. It has no effect on humans. Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit disappointed. If it really had been able to revive the dead, then he could revive Ye's Hikyu and Lu Fang Er. But then suddenly, Luo Bing, who had been motionless this entire time, suddenly moved, causing Long Chen to jump in fright. He was just about to summon the earth flame when he noticed that Luo Bing hadn't grown a new head, but had instead sunk deeper into the earth. Long Chen's jaw dropped. The black soil was was like a monster's mouth, slowly devouring Luo Bing's corpse. In less than an incense stick's time, Luo Bing's corpse disappeared beneath the ground. At the same time, vast life energy filled the primal chaos space, and the herbs he had planted began to grow even faster, almost singing with vitality. Oh? Devouring flesh can invigorate this space. Long Chen gulped. What a terrifying ability. Even Long Chen's heart was pounding at this shocking ability. Furthermore, he found that his injuries were now quickly recovering. Suddenly, Long Chen became nauseous. Just now, he had essentially absorbed Luo Bing's corpse in order to heal himself. How nauseating. Long Chen spat on the ground. However, he didn't feel too terrible. If a bad person died, he wouldn't feel any burden on his heart. However, he decided that in the future, he definitely wouldn't bury people in this black soil again. If he had to bury something, he'd use magical beasts. Other than healing him, some of that life energy was being sent to the medicinal ingredients. Furthermore, once the medicinal ingredients were planted in the primal chaos space, they formed a special connection, and Long Chen could draw out their own life energy to heal himself. Unfortunately, the amount of life energy in these medicinal ingredients is too low. I'll need to find some huge trees to store life energy. But this space is also too small and can't store that much. Looking at this three-mile primal chaos space, all kinds of ideas of how to use this treasure popped into Long Chen's mind. However, those ideas were for later. Right now, he cleaned up the remains of this battlefield. And after summoning Little Snow, he left this region. Right now, he had to act extremely carefully. He erased all traces of his passage. The wind in this desert was powerful, so his tracks were already being covered naturally. Now, even if further pursuers came, it would be as if he had disappeared into thin air. Within the next two days, Long Chen had found a secluded place deep within the mountains. There, 
he summoned his divine ring and circulated as two stars. All the medicinal ingredients in his primal chaos space rapidly grew. During these days, he had researched the rules of the primal chaos bead. Within the primal chaos space, medicinal ingredients grew ten times as fast as the outside world. However, when he poured in his energy to speed up the primal chaos bead, that growth rate would multiply by thousands. Over a year's growth could be collapsed to two hours. Unfortunately, that was extremely exhausting work. Long Chen could only maintain that top growth rate for six hours before running out of spiritual key. He would then rest for two hours and start again. He didn't care that much about the medicinal ingredients other than the kill and fruit. Three days later, after working so laboriously, over 40 fully matured killin fruits had landed in his hands. Furthermore, the killin fruit tree had also grown larger, going from being 3 feet tall to 3 meters tall, and there were almost a hundred killin fruits hanging on its branches. However, those had yet to mature. When Long Chen looked at the matured killin fruits, his heart involuntarily pounded. The killin fruits that had matured in the primal chaos space were magnificent and much better than the ones that had matured in the outside world. Now that he had killin fruits, he secluded himself, aiming to fully condense the Aleph Star. Chapter 472 Hiding the Truth from the Public Translator Born to be while Long Chen was in seclusion, the righteous and corrupt paths of the seven prefectures were all deeply shaken. When the Jiuli secret realm had closed, thousands of disciples had come out. The news of Long Chen battling the peak experts of the righteous and corrupt paths rapidly spread. The most shocking information was how in that final clash, those peak experts had been blown away like dried up sticks by him. Everyone thought Long Chen would be the hope of the righteous path, a chance for them to soar in power. At the same time, there were many people that denounced the pill tower. They had stuck their hands into the righteous and corrupt struggles, and it had been unfair to the righteous path. They hoped for the pill tower to give them an adequate explanation. However, no response came from the pill tower. From some back channels, it was learned that Hua Wufang had apparently been sent back to the pill tower half alive. Every single bone in his body had been broken. The pill tower had immediately taken action to heal him. However, that healing had been so painful that Hua Wufang would have preferred to die. Back then, Long Chen hadn't killed him. Instead, he had fed him a medicinal pill. That medicinal pill had actually been what had managed to keep Hua Wufang alive. However, within that medicinal pill had also been a strong poison. It was a kind of poison that would seep into his bones. And as soon as something tried to heal those bones, it would activate the poison. That poison targeted only the nerves, and it wouldn't kill him. Instead, it would just make him feel so much pain that he would wish himself dead. Long Chen hated Hua Wufang to the max, and all he wanted was for Hua Wufang to suffer endless pain. Although Hua Wufang liked to act incomparably arrogant, in truth, such people were all weak and cowardly inside. In the face of death, they would do anything to survive. It was precisely because Long Chen had known what kind of person Hua Wufang was that he had forced him to consume this medicinal pill he had personally refined. It was all to make him be filled with enough pain to want to die, all while knowing he wouldn't even have the courage to kill himself. Hua Wufang had been sent to his Huo family on the very day he had returned from the secret realm. However, whether or not he had been healed was something no one knew. As for the righteous path's questions, the pill tower still hadn't given an explanation. In comparison to the pill tower's silence, there were quite a few sects that had flown into a rage because they had lost too many of their elite disciples. Those were people Long Chen had killed. Some sects hadn't had a single one of their disciples return. In comparison, the smaller sects ended up benefiting greatly. Their disciples had not only survived but had also brought back a large harvest of spatial rings. The treasures in those spatial rings were several decades worth of resources to them. However, those smaller sects had also become completely silent. Their disciples that had come back and were filled with gratefulness towards Long Chen had been sternly warned not to run their mouths. Some of the more stubborn ones had even been imprisoned. One reason was that their sects were too small. If news of their gains spread, it would provoke jealousy from others. The other reason was that Long Chen had become everyone's target now. Who dared get closer to him now? The righteous path was in an unstable condition, with wild undercurrents flowing behind the scenes but the corrupt path was in an even more chaotic state. Long Chen had almost completely annihilated the corrupt path's top geniuses of the seven prefectures. Of their peak experts, only Yun Luo had returned and only half of him at that. If there hadn't been a powerful healer present then, perhaps he would have already died. There had been more than a hundred thousand corrupt disciples that entered the secret realm. 
but less than a thousand of them had returned. That was completely unacceptable. It was a huge blow to their core strength. Nowadays, Long Chen was classified as a must-kill figure to the entire corrupt path. Any names that had been placed on their must-kill list would be hunted down with the corrupt path's full strength. Within a hidden hall, there was a stone stall over 30 meters tall. It was engraved with tens of thousands of names. Furthermore, a red X had been slashed on top of each of those names. That meant they were already dead. There was only one name without an X over it, and it was one that had only just been carved, making it extremely eye-catching. That name was, Long Chen. Boom. A mountain collapsed as a wave of key soared into the sky. Rays of light were shining from Long Chen's body. Two stars were shining within his eyes, and his aura could frighten even the heavens. Now, both those stars were equally bright. Furthermore, as those two stars slowly rotated, they released a volcanic power. It's finally completely condensed. Long Chen raised his head and laughed uproariously. His voice sounded like the roar of a god, shaking the land. After obtaining the primal chaos bead, even my cultivation base can rapidly advance. Long Chen clenched a fist, excitedly sensing the surging spiritual key in his body. Long Chen had spent all his time refining Aliyah pills. Not only had his Aliyah star become completely condensed, but he had even advanced three cultivation levels, reaching the twelfth heaven stage of tendon transformation. He was just one level away from the thirteenth heaven stage and undergoing the heavenly tribulation. Then he would be in bone forging. Long Chen sighed, muttering to himself, with both stars fully condensed, my combat strength should have increased by over ten times. I should be able to dominate the bone forging realm, and I don't have to fear meridian opening experts, but I still am not an equal opponent for Xianchen experts. The barrier between the Xianchen and Haoshan realms is just too great. Xianchen experts were too powerful. Even Luo Bing, who had only just broken through to the Xianchen realm, had already been so powerful. Currently, his best option would be to flee as far as possible. At the very least, he should wait until he broke through to Meridian opening before returning. However, he always felt a bit anxious. He felt as if something was wrong, but no matter how he thought about it, he couldn't figure it out. Ah, whatever. I'll stealthily inquire what is happening with the supermonastery. Long Chen took out some medicinal liquid and applied it over his face. Looking in a mirror, he made some adjustments turning himself into the likeness of an ordinary man in his thirties who was slightly yellowed. He looked completely ordinary. If he was thrown into a crowd, it would be impossible for anyone to notice him. Switching out his robes, he began to rush into the distance. The next day, he found a city. He just happened to be hungry, and so he found a restaurant to eat. Just as he was about to start eating, he heard the large man beside him begin talking to his neighbor. This man's tongue had already grown loose from drinking. Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm just bragging cause I drank too much. That man's voice was clearly slightly displeased. Don't blame me. Even if you said this when you were sober, no one would believe it, let alone now when you're completely drunk. The other man was holding back laughter. He seemed extremely familiar with the large man. TCH, if you hadn't invited me to drink, do you think I'd tell you something this big? Let me tell you, this matter is absolutely true. His voice suddenly dropped to a whisper. There's no harm in me telling you this. My older sister's husband's big brother's aunt's fiancé damn. How many relationships are you going to list? I'm already lost. Cursed the other man. Aya, Just ignore those relationships. In any case. Her fiancé is a disciple from the number one Zhuanshan monastery. Three days ago. We were drinking together. And he only told me this because he drank too much. You can't tell others this. Or it will cause a disaster. When he reached this point in his story, he even paused his drinking. He looked around and saw the only one close to him was an ordinary man who had a sickly yellow tint to him. There were not the slightest fluctuations coming from him, so he didn't seem to be a cultivator. Only then was he at ease. You were telling the truth? The first monastery really is planning on killing two Xianchen experts and a group of geniuses. Long Chen's teacup instantly shattered. He suddenly appeared in front of that large man and grabbed his throat. Was that the truth? You. The two of them both completely startled. These two were both in the tendon transformation realm. But when they met Long Chen's gaze, they immediately felt numb and cold. A sensation of death filled their hearts. And they couldn't even bring themselves to think about resisting. Speak. What happened? Raged Long Chen. An incense sticks time later. Those two had both woken up from their drunk state. They were both drenched in sweat. Looking like they had just gotten out of a pool. 
the larger man told Long Chen everything he knew. Under Long Chen's interrogation, he didn't even have the courage to hold back a single thing. Once Long Chen left, they both collapsed on the table. They had never seen such a terrifying person in their lives. Long Chen's expression was gloomy, and killing intent was exploding from him. From that person, he had learned that after he had fled, the first monastery had still taken the advantage. There had been several more people to join the first monastery, and some of them had wanted to chase after Long Chen. As a result, Ling Yanzi had become absolutely furious and slaughtered four sect leaders. That had stunned everyone, even the second monastery sect leader. He had only taken action to display his own power and fight for the first monastery ranking. But Ling Yanzi was slaughtering sect leaders. That made him feel the situation had turned sour, and he had pulled back. Due to that, Ling Yanzi and Kang Ming had been surrounded by everyone, heavily injured and finally captured. As for Tang Wanner and the others, they were also captured. It was said that this matter had even alarmed the assistant monastery head, and in their rage, they had ordered everyone other than Hua Biluo to be imprisoned. The only gratifying thing was that Guo Ran and the others were still alive. But what infuriated Long Chen was that the first monastery had sent out news that three days from now, they were going to execute all of them. This fury didn't cloud Long Chen's mind. He knew this matter was completely unreasonable and made no sense. First of all, he was the crux of the matter as the main offender. If they were to punish people, they had to punish him, not the other geniuses. Even if there was to be punishment, they should have only punished Ling Yanzi and not the others. Second of all, the cause of all this was very simple. It had all been because the first monastery had targeted him. They had been the root of the trouble, and only then had the situation developed to that point. If they really wanted to target him, then they were lacking an honorable reason. They shouldn't be proceeding with this so openly without any fear. Third, the location was wrong. If someone was to punish these people, they should have done it at the super monastery. Why would they punish them at the first monastery? Something was fishy. Good. Very good. As expected, they really did hide the truth. Then let me see whether you can hide the truth, or I can hide your lives for all eternity. Surging with killing intent, Long Chen rushed towards the first monastery. Chapter 473 Contemptible Mother and Son Translator Born to be at Upper High Mountain, there was a palace that covered the entire mountain top. This was the number one Zhuanshan Monastery. The mountain range of tens of thousands of miles was enveloped by a spirit gathering formation to increase the density of the spiritual key here. At the central plaza, there were countless experts that had gathered. This plaza, which was a hundred miles wide, was filled with people. However, not everyone here was from the monasteries. There were many experts from the various righteous sects, all of whom were furious. Their killing intent was focused on the people who had been bound to a pillar at the heart of the plaza. Kang Ming and Ling Yanzi had four large needles stabbing into their shoulders and legs. Runes flickered coldly from those needles. Those were heaven-locking needles used for Xi'anshan experts. Its runes were designed to seal a person's Xi'anshan power. At this time, Kang Ming and Ling Yanzi were both bound to the pillar, their Xi'anshan power locked away, and yet, neither of them felt any fear. Instead, their expression seemed to be of ridicule. Little Yanzi, I really didn't misjudge you. You're a real man but your uncle master is old now and only managed to cripple two of them. I didn't even manage to kill a single one, sighed Kang Ming. It's not that you're old, but that your opponents were too strong. As for my side, all I had were some cowards afraid of death, so killing them was easier. Ling Yunzi smiled. Haha, little fellow, even now you know to console your uncle master. Looks like all that love I gave you back then wasn't wasted. Kang Ming laughed. HMPH. Even when you're about to die, you can still laugh? Well, I suppose you should do it some more. Soon, you won't have a chance to ever laugh again. The 36th Monastery sect leader Luo Feng sneered. Fuck off. The only reason you're still alive is because you weren't fighting me. Otherwise, I'd kill a little brat like you with a single smash of my hammer. Raged Kang Ming. Uncle Master, you still have the same temper. Ling Yunzi smiled. The two of them were unable to move but they were still acting nonchalantly. The two of them had long since seen through what life and death were, and they no longer held any fear towards their deaths. Luo Feng simply sneered and didn't reply. He had been appointed as the executioner. In a bit, he would be personally cutting off their heads. It's too bad about the kids though. Kang Ming couldn't help but sigh when he looked at Wild and the others. Ling Yunzi nodded. He hadn't expected this matter to develop to this point. Sha Kishan truly was difficult to deal with. 
He even managed to suppress the truth from the public. Furthermore, sitting on a large stage was an icy woman who looked to be in her 30s. She had sword-like eyebrows and was wearing magnificent robes. She was one of the Zhuangshan Supra Monastery's assistant monastery heads. The other assistant monastery head was the old man who had opened the passage into the Jiuli secret realm for everyone. As for this assistant monastery head, she was someone with a special relationship to Sha Kishan. She was his mother. Sha Kishan's mother icily looked over Kang Ming and Ling Yunzi, and then whispered to Sha Kishan, You're certain that Luo Bing went after Long Chen and will bring back his head. Mom, you call me assistant monastery head. Assistant monastery head, don't worry. Luo Bing is a Xianchen expert, and there definitely won't be any problems for her to chase down a tendon transformation brat. Luo Feng has also used his own head to guarantee nothing will go wrong, whispered Sha Kishan. You have to be absolutely certain about this. If Long Chen is dead, this matter will conclude here. But if he's still alive, then he can still make this matter public in the future. If that ends up disturbing the monastery head, then even I will be implicated. You understand. Don't worry. I definitely won't harm my own mother. I couldn't handle this on my own. So I had to ask for your help. Furthermore, you don't need to be afraid. These various sect leaders all have their disciples killed by Long Chen. They came to testify against him. Even if the monastery head does investigate later, you can just push the responsibility onto them. Say that you were forced due to their pressure and had no choice but to kill them to placate their anger. Plus, I already showed you all that evidence. That's enough to prove Long Chen is a villain, and that it's because of his sins that he drew the wrath of both the righteous and corrupt paths. Plus, the sect leaders who have come here are all my friends. If the monastery head does start asking questions in the future, then with a single word from me, they will come out to testify for you. There's a certain phrase, the law fails when punishing too many people. All the possibilities have already been handled by me. It definitely won't bring any trouble for you, said Sha Kishan. His mother nodded. The first monastery's position during these years has been extremely stable. I didn't even help you out that much. You really have done good work. Many thanks. What about the Yun family's girl? She's been sent back. Long Chen truly is vicious. We don't know what he fed Yun Wushuang. Our alchemists and wood cultivators were powerless against his poison. We had no choice but to send her back and have the Yun family think of a solution. Didn't you say the Yun family's people would come here? Where are they? Sha Kishan's mother frowned. UHH. I don't know. These ancient families are all so arrogant. So I can't be sure whether or not they'll really come. Said Sha Kishan somewhat helplessly. Ancient families were all incredibly arrogant. And they were most arrogant about their bloodlines. Their bloodlines foreordained them to walk further than ordinary geniuses. So the ordinary cultivation sects were treated as tempering grounds for them. To create relations with them was extremely difficult. Then what about that Hua family girl? How did you handle her? Asked Sha Kishan's mother. She's still recovering. Hmm. Good work. Ah. A child from an ancient family who ended up terrified. It really is best for her to sleep a bit longer. It's fine as long as she wakes up undamaged. Sha Kishan's mother nodded. Extremely satisfied with his methods for handling matters. Shianur. I really am gratified that you managed to handle everything so carefully and rigorously. However. There are no absolutes in this world. There's no need to handle every matter so perfectly. As long as something has a chance of success, you can still risk it. It's precisely because you've been handling things too carefully and that you're lacking enough guts that others have placed their sights on your position. You understand? Asked Sha Kishan's mother. Thank you for the warning. Mother, your son understands. A man must have guts. And they must strike like lightning. Terrify others without fighting. Subdue others without attacking. This is what it means when they say a great man must be ruthless. In truth, I really am a bit disappointed with how you handled Long Chen. If you hadn't cared so much about prestige and acted so carefully, he would have been dead long ago. Since you were sure he was going to be a disaster, you should have had him killed with your full strength. You should never have given him enough time to grow. When a tiger hunts a rabbit, they hunt with their full strength. You don't need to care about how others think about you. In this world, strength is everything. Your strength decides how much power your words have. If you're strong, others have to listen to what you say. If they don't want to listen, then you can just make them shut up. Understand, said Sha Kishan's mother. Yes, your child will remember your teachings. It's almost time. Go finish your preparations. We'll begin the execution. Sha Kishan nodded and stood up, looking over everyone present. 
he had used the name of the assistant monastery head to gather all the monastery sect leaders. He was going to use this matter to display his power for all to see, especially Xiao Yang Chang. Did he really think that just because he managed to obtain an ancient family disciple that he could fight with him over his position? Now he would let him see what true power was, what having a foundation was. He would use this execution to overawe everyone. They wanted to compete with him, then they could try it as long as they weren't afraid of death. Other than the monastery sect leaders, there were various righteous sect leaders who were allied with the first monastery. It was precisely because they were allied with the first monastery that they had suffered such heavy losses this time. Today, they had come to cheer for the first monastery, as well as to get some compensation. Sha Kishan had already promised them that he wouldn't let them suffer losses for nothing. Ling Yun Zi, do you have anything to say before you die? shouted Sha Kishan. Everyone else immediately shut their mouths, their hearts shaking. The execution was about to begin. Ha ha ha, there's nothing to say. Ever since stepping on the cultivation path, I never expected to have some good ending. However, I really am surprised that instead of dying on the battlefield, I would die to those from the same sect as me. However, that's also fine. Do you really think just because you have your mother's support, you can control everything? Haha, <laughs> just wait. When Long Chen returns, he'll send you down below to see us again. We'll be waiting for you. Ling Yunzi laughed grandly, not at all caring about death. Long Chen? Keep dreaming. Luo Bing has already personally gone after him. I know my sister well. The fact that she hasn't returned yet is because she's probably looking after Long Chen with every single torment she knows. Perhaps he is already waiting for you down below. Luo Feng laughed sinisterly. Your sister? Don't make me laugh to death. She doesn't have the qualifications to kill Long Chen. None of you know just how terrifying he is. Ling Yunzi laughed and then turned to Wild and the others. Children, don't be afraid. Long Chen will get revenge for us. For us to all die together, we'll be able to talk and laugh on our way. Even in the other world, we'll still be domineering heroes. We'll be far better than these sanctimonious idiots. Sect leader, master, I'm not afraid, said Wild bravely. Kang Ming's heart turned sour. He wasn't afraid of his own death, but he really was unable to accept having his own apprentice die. Luo Fang, start the execution, ordered Sha Kishan. A sinister light shined in Luo Feng's eyes. He swept his gaze over them all. He had the authority to choose who would die first. His gaze suddenly fell on the only woman. Little lady, I'll send you off first. Haha, <laughs> Luo Feng's first target was Tang Wan Er. Once Tang Wan Er died, the others' hearts would definitely crumble. That was exactly the result he wanted. Wait, I have something I want to say. Suddenly, Guo Ran opened his mouth and shouted. Luo Feng glanced at Sha Kishan. Sha Kishan smiled. Let him speak. Finally, there was someone afraid of death. He eagerly anticipated the sound of him begging. Sect leader Sha, I just have one thing to say before I die. Your mom's really ugly. Guo Ran's voice rang out throughout the entire plaza. Kill him, roared a furious Sha Kishan. Luo Feng raised his blade. He was just about to kill Guo Ran when an icy voice resounded throughout the entire monastery. If you dare kill my brother, I will make all of you accompany him. Chapter 474 Incomparably Domineering Translator Born to be if you dare kill my brother, I will make all of you accompany him. An icy voice resounded throughout the entire monastery. The killing intent within that voice could make the nine heavens shiver and the river of stars flicker. This was a kind of undefeatable will, something unrelated to cultivation base. Every expert present felt their hearts sink. The midday sun was glaring down on the ground. A figure slowly walked forward a blood-colored saber on his shoulder, blood still dripping down the blade. His black robes and long hair fluttered in the wind. His eyes were like two stars, making him appear extremely handsome. But the killing intent on his face could overturn the yellow springs of hell. One man, one saber, disdainfully looking down on all. Even in the face of hundreds of Xi'anshan experts, he still advanced bravely, looking at them as if they were beneath him. Long Chen, Tang Wan Er let out a soft cry and tears streamed down her face. She wasn't afraid of death, but she had been afraid of never seeing Long Chen again, of never hearing his candid laughter again, of never seeing that face with that wicked smile. Boss, Guo Ran and the others were also filled with excitement. No matter at what time, Long Chen's voice was always able to inspire them. Ling Yunzi and Kang Ming's expressions sunk. In their eyes, Long Chen was acting extremely foolish. He was clearly sending himself to his death. But saying anything right now was already too late. How did you get here? 
shouted one of the first monastery's elders. I killed my way here, said Long Chen indifferently as he continued slowly walking forward. They were very simple words, but seeing that blood dripping off Long Chen's saber, it caused people's hearts to tremble. That was especially true of the first monastery's experts. They were astonished. From the bottom of the mountain to here, there were over a dozen layers of blockades, and the path was a hundred miles long. But Long Chen had managed to force his way through without setting off any alarms. The only possibility was that those people in his way hadn't even had a chance to set off an alarm before being cut down by Long Chen. Thinking of that made them feel numb. That was a bit too brazen, wasn't it? He is Long Chen. Sha Kishan's mother icily stared at him. Yes, that's him, replied Sha Kishan. This person is extremely strong. The aura of primal chaos surrounds his body, isolating him from inspection. If it isn't because of some top treasure protecting him, then it must have to do with his cultivation base. Unfortunately, such a person is our enemy, and so he can only be exterminated. Someone with only strength but no head isn't worth being afraid of. Kill him, ordered Sha Kishan's mother. Sha Kishan nodded and cast a gaze at one of the first monastery's elders. That was a meridian opening expert, and his position in the first monastery was very high. He was extremely strong amongst elders. He immediately shouted, Brazen traitor, how dare you commit such violent crimes in the first monastery? Lay down your weapon and beg for forgiveness. The elder charged towards Long Chen. Golden lines appeared on his palm as he smashed it towards Long Chen, and a terrifying pressure caused space to twist around him. Die, Long Chen suddenly shouted, and his divine ring appeared behind him. What was different from before was that now, his divine ring was two colors, red and orange. The red light was on the inside, while the orange light was on the outside. One color circulated clockwise, while the other circulated counterclockwise. A powerful pressure began to spread from it, while everyone was still shocked, wondering what this technique was. Long Chen's blood-colored saber emitted a scarlet light that slashed at the elder. In front of everyone's horrified eyes, blood splashed. That meridian opening elder had been cut in half by a single stroke of Long Chen's saber. Long Chen swung his saber to get rid of the blood and then once more rested it on his shoulder, continuing to walk forward. A single slash of his saber exterminated an expert. It had been filled with a courageous imposingness, as well as a determination that said either you die, or I die. Even those Xi'anchen experts didn't have Long Chen's courageous will. Whether you ascended your way into the heavens or dug your way into the earth, that saber would still cut you down. That single saber slash had seemed to say that he could smile while throwing away his own life. He didn't need his life. All he needed was to be domineering. Step, step, step. The entire monastery was silent. Only the sound of Long Chen's feet touching the ground continued to resound like thunder in people's hearts. I understand. I was wrong. Ling Yunzi sighed. Ling Yunzi was seeing something from Long Chen that no one else was seeing. He saw Long Chen's will, his determination, but the thing he saw clearest of all was Long Chen's Dao. When he saw that Dao, he finally understood his own Dao. Previously, he had managed to regain his own confidence because of Long Chen. He had found his old self and once more stepped onto his cultivation path. He had regained his cultivation heart, but this time, Long Chen was fully revealing his domineeringness. He had the attitude and determination that said he could die, but he could not lower his head. Even the will of the heavens was not something that could subdue him, let alone life and death. One man and one saber, imposing as the sea, forever grand, domineering enough to shake the heavens. This was Long Chen's first time displaying the essence of the nine-star hegemon body art for all to see, and it was absolutely shocking. The current Long Chen had completely transformed. He was no longer a sheathed sword. Now he was displaying his sharpness for the world to see. There were tens of thousands of experts present, and over 200 of them were Xi'anchen experts. These people were all just watching as Long Chen walked forward. They had been completely intimidated. They weren't intimidated by Long Chen's cultivation base and also not from his killing ability. Instead, it was from the domineeringness that came from the depths of his soul. Even Sha Kishan's mother's expression changed. Even someone as strong as her, the assistant monastery head was still affected by Long Chen's domineeringness. She had an extremely uneasy feeling. She had an extremely grand position. But looking at Long Chen, she felt as if she had to look up to see him. That was not a feeling based on their heights. Kill him, she shouted. At this time, Long Chen had already reached the center of the plaza. On his way, not a single person had dared block him. Right now, he was less than 300 meters from Guo Ran and the others. 
The closest person to him was now Luo Fang. He was about to spring into action when Long Chen suddenly threw over something to him. Let me give you a present. That thing rolled over to him. Shockingly, it was a head. It's Luo Bing. The monastery sect leaders and elders were all astonished. Luo Bing, a Xi'anchen expert, had been beheaded by someone. Sister, Luo Feng picked up the head and let out an aggrieved cry. He actually had a very good relationship with his sister, or else he wouldn't have indulged her so much. Long Chen, I'll tear you apart. He pounced on Long Chen like a madman, exploding with his full strength, sending a fist smashing towards him. Two-star battle armor. Two stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and an explosive power surged out of his body. His blood-colored saber pointed up into the sky, and his primal chaos beat fully activated. Blood Drinker emitted a fierce rumbling, seeming like a devil that was awakening, emitting a terrifying pressure. Split the heavens. His saber seemed to split apart heaven and earth as it ruthlessly slashed down on Luo Fang. Careful. Sha Kishin let out a startled cry. He could tell just how terrifying Long Chen's attack was. Boom. Blood Drinker slashed onto Luo Feng's fist. Long Chen's body shook intensely, and his inner organs flipped within him, vomiting a mouthful of blood. He flew back. Luo Feng was also blown back. His arm burst into pieces. That had been Long Chen's strongest attack, and it had also contained his courageous will and that domineeringness that looked down on death. What? How can someone in the Haoshan realm injure a Xi'anchen expert? He's only in tendon transformation. What the hell is going on? Everyone was stunned. Luo Feng clearly hadn't been holding back at all, but despite that, his arm had been destroyed. Even though they could all see that Long Chen's saber was a Xi'anchen weapon, they also knew that without Xi'anchen power, it was impossible to bring out a Xi'anchen weapon's true abilities. The higher a person's cultivation base, the more stunned they were now. This toppled all their understanding of cultivation. It was no wonder Long Chen could dominate the righteous and corrupt path's peak experts in the Jiuli secret realm. He killed chosen like chopping melons, beheading chickens, and slaughtering pigs. He definitely wasn't human. Having his arm destroyed, fury clouded Luo Feng's mind. He was still stunned by everything as he stared at his arm. Idiot. Dodge. Suddenly, a furious cry rang out, causing Luo Feng's expression to suddenly change. But before he could move, a blood-colored saber stabbed through his chest and pierced out of his back. Die. Thunder Force suddenly surged out of Long Chen's saber and caused Luo Feng's body to explode. Everyone was now horrified. As a Xi'anchen expert, Luo Feng's body was harder than steel, but he had exploded just like this. Only once his body exploded did people see that countless violet thunderbolts were racing across Long Chen's saber. They constantly flickered, emitting a continuous rumbling. If Long Chen had directly used his Thunder Force to attack Luo Feng, then considering how powerful Luo Feng's physical body was, it wouldn't be able to cause any effective injuries. But Long Chen had instead poured in his Thunder Force into his body in two waves. The first wave destroyed his inner organs and caused him so much pain that he had been unable to circulate his key to resist, while the second wave had been the true attack, instantly blowing up his body. What a vicious brat. Die. Suddenly, another Xi'anchen expert roared and slashed a saber down on Long Chen. Long Chen hastily resisted with his full strength. His saber was blown away, and he vomited blood. The only reason he had been able to kill Luo Feng was because of some special circumstances. It didn't truly signify he had the ability to fight Xi'anchen experts. This particular Xi'anchen expert was precisely Sun Jiangsheng, the one who had chased after Long Chen but been blocked by everyone risking their lives. Sun Jiangsheng's body suddenly flickered, and he appeared right in front of Long Chen. A claw reached towards his throat, but just as his hand was about to reach Long Chen's throat, Long Chen's palm had already reached his chest. TCH, who do you think you are? Sun Jiangsheng sneered. Long Chen's power was not even enough to tickle him. PFFT. Suddenly, a translucent, blue spear shot out of Long Chen's palm, piercing straight through Sun Jiangsheng's chest. Sun Jiangsheng's sneer became shock. Chapter 475 Contemptuously looking down on experts translator, born to be a translucent blue spear pierced straight through Sun Jiangsheng's chest. A terrifying heat instantly burnt his organs to nothing. Long Chen smiled icily. Sun Jiangsheng, I already said that I would definitely kill you. Now I've fulfilled my promise. This blue spear was a spirit weapon he had condensed from the earth flame. After being nourished by Long Chen's mind, the earth flame was extremely friendly with him and he could use it as he wished. But even though Long Chen possessed an earth flame, 
that didn't mean he possessed the power to kill Sun Jiangshan who had reached the late Xianshan realm. After all, his earth flame was still immature. So Long Chen's only chance had been to catch him off guard. He had seemingly only sent forward a simple palm, but then he had already prepared the earth flame in secret. He had instantly released it when his palm had touched Sun Jiangshan. By the time Sun Jiangshan had sensed the danger, it had been too late for him. This spirit weapon condensed from the earth flame had burnt away all his organs, and a berserk energy was flowing through his meridians, crazily destroying his body. Sun Jiangshan was horrified. All his spiritual ki had been burnt away now, and he didn't have any defensive ability. If the earth flame had attacked him from the outside, then he would have been able to block it. But the earth flame was attacking him from inside his body, and there was no way for him to defend. Get going. In your next life, remember to have a brain and not listen to an idiot's orders, or you'll just lose your life again. After saying that, the blue spear in his hand emitted a fierce light. Boom. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, Sun Jiangsheng's body exploded. Terrifying blue flames roared into the sky, igniting even the void. Kang Miang, Ling Yunzi, Guo Ran and all the others were all dumbfounded. Those were Xianshan experts, those on the same level as sect leaders. They were supreme existences to them. But Long Chen had now killed two of them in a row, and one had even been in the late Xianshan realm. That was completely unbelievable. Earth flame, it has to be an earth flame. Otherwise, there's no way it could be so powerful. Some people managed to see through some clues. In this world, only an earth flame could possibly so easily break through a Xianshan expert's defenses. For a Xianshan expert, even if they didn't circulate their key to defend themselves and only relied on their physical bodies as defense, not just anything could hurt them. Looking at that blue spear in Long Chen's hands, many people felt some greed. That was an earth flame, a priceless treasure. Furthermore, the fact that Long Chen could subdue an earth flame meant it was still in its infancy. As long as they killed Long Chen, they should be able to control that earth flame for themselves. Everyone's eyes turned green from greed as they stared at that spear, and they gulped their saliva. Long Chen, hand back my beloved disciples' lives. Suddenly, a sect leader from a righteous sect roared and erupted with his full aura, charging at Long Chen. It wasn't just him. Dozens of sect leaders immediately charged over with red eyes, all of them wanting to snatch the earth flame. Just as those sect leaders began to move, a terrifying pressure spread, and a cry shook their eardrums. This isn't something you should stick your hands into. Those sect leaders were all blown back by a terrifying wave of ki. Sha Kishan's mother had now walked forward, fervently gazing at Long Chen's earth flame. Even as an assistant monastery head, she had never had a chance to interact with any earth flames. If she could obtain it, then that would be immensely beneficial to her cultivation, and it could help her break through. She had to obtain it. This is a matter of the monasteries. Others shouldn't interfere, she said. Those sect leaders' expressions immediately became ugly. She had clearly decided to keep this earth flame for herself. They were all unwilling, but they didn't have any ability to resist Sha Kishan's mother. They could only helplessly withdraw. She turned to Long Chen and smiled slightly. Long Chen, I really wouldn't have expected you to have had such a heaven-defying opportunity. Since you've brought an earth flame for the super monastery, it can count as a great service. So I can spare your life. Cripple your cultivation base. Lock yourself behind the mountains, and never come out again. I can only do so much for you. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed, his laughter filled with disdain and contempt. Presumptuous. What are you laughing for? Sparing your life is already an immense grace from the assistant monastery head. Hurry up and kneel in thanks, roared Sha Kishan. I'm laughing because you greedy idiots think I'm as stupid as you are. Did you think I'd just charge in like this without any trump cards? Suddenly. A huge crystal appeared beside Long Chen. As soon as that crystal appeared, berserk gales spread in all directions. The closest buildings were actually torn apart by those wild gales, causing everyone's expressions to change. The distant disciples from the first monastery who had been spectating all let out startled screams. Many of them were blown into the air. It was unknown just where they flew off to. Wind spirit crystal. Sha Kishan's mother let out a startled cry. No one had expected Long Chen to have such a treasure that both startled and delighted her. Idiot. Even now you don't get it. Long Chen sneered and placed a palm on the wind spirit crystal. Glancing at everyone, he lightly asked, if I use the earth flame to detonate this wind spirit crystal, the result will be quite spectacular, don't you think? Long Chen's words caused everyone's expressions to completely change. 
Some of the sect leaders even began to quiver. Shah Kishan's mother's expression became exceedingly ugly. They were now all afraid. If Long Chen used the earth flame to detonate the wind spirit crystal, then not one person here would survive. In fact, even the entire first monastery would instantly turn to a barren land. Even Shah Kishan's mother, whose cultivation base had reached a terrifying level, would not be able to block such a terrifying explosion. Ha ha ha, boss really is boss, laughed Guo Ran. You cowardly idiots, you really like acting so arrogant, right? Just continue acting so high and lofty, boss, don't hesitate any longer. Just detonate the wind spirit crystal and have everyone die together, to bring over 200 Xi'anchen experts with us. Ha <laughs> ha, just thinking about it excites me, we'll have really made a profit. Guo Ran's brazen shouting made all those sect leaders turn green. This bastard was actually encouraging Long Chen to detonate the wind spirit crystal? Were all of them crazy? If anyone dares move, I will immediately detonate the wind spirit crystal. Long Chen suddenly shouted because he had noticed some sect leaders had begun to stealthily withdraw. Long Chen, don't be so impulsive. Everything can be discussed, advised the second monastery sect leader, Xiao Yang Chang. He was also afraid. If Long Chen detonated the wind spirit crystal, then he would die too. And that really would be too unlucky. Considering what had happened before, he felt he had a slightly friendly relationship with Long Chen. After all, they had once fought on the same side. They could count as allies. Even if Long Chen had to detonate the Wind Spirit Crystal, he could still let them go first before detonating it. Shut up. Long Chen coldly snorted. Do you really think we're friends? Don't use your childish thinking to judge me. The reason you took action that day was to fight over the position of the first monastery as well as to suck up to the Hua family. The 108th monastery was just a pretext for you. So don't even try talking about some friendship or alliance. If you really were our ally, you wouldn't have just watched indifferently as your allies were being killed, not even saying a single word. So everyone, listen up. If any of you dare take a single step, I will immediately detonate the wind spirit crystal. Everyone can die together. I always do what I say, and if anyone feels any doubt, then I welcome you to try me. Everyone's hearts dropped. According to Long Chen's ruthless and decisive nature, no one doubted his resolve. With a single saber, he had killed his way up to the first monastery then killed two Xi'anchen experts in front of all of them. What level of craziness was that? Such a person practically treated life and death as a game, not caring in the slightest. Even Ling Yanzi and the others were able to laugh and talk in the face of death. They definitely all had to be crazy. And crazy people were capable of doing anything. Long Chen, what do you want? Sha Kishan's mother icily stared at Long Chen. If she took action, she had a 99% assurance in being able to instantly subdue Long Chen and make it so he was unable to detonate the wind spirit crystal. But she didn't dare. On that off chance she failed. Then everyone would die. She didn't dare take this lightly. Let everyone go. Impossible. Sha Kishan's mother icily snorted. I can release the disciples, but Ling Yunzi must die. Otherwise, how will I convince the masses? Ling Yunzi was just about to tell Long Chen to agree, but Long Chen was already pointing at her face and cursing. Convince the masses, you old BTCH, for someone like you to have become an assistant monastery head. How the hell did you convince the masses? You are clearly biased towards the first monastery. What caused this whole situation is something everyone knows clearly. For you to side with the first monastery, how are you going to convince the masses? That's right, you really are an old BTCH. For you to treat our 108th monastery like this, none of us are convinced. Do you want to talk about how you could convince the masses? Suddenly, a voice rang out. A large mass of people were walking over. Long Chen was shocked to see that Tu Fang was leading a group of hundreds of monastery disciples over. Elder Tu Fang, Long Chen was dumbfounded. Haha. <laughs> Good work Long Chen. These idiots have always been targeting us. Now we can finally release our resentment. Tu Fang laughed. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We wish to follow you in life and death. Those 108th monastery disciples behind Tu Fang all raised their hands and shouted. Their eyes filled with zealotry. Long Chen felt a wave of emotion. He knew these brothers and sisters that had come here didn't have any thoughts of leaving alive. He didn't waste any more words. Old BTCH. Are you releasing everyone or not? It'll be up to you. I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. After saying one, Long Chen immediately shouted two, not giving Sha Kishan's mother any chance to think. At the same time, the serpentine rune on his arm lit up. 
his earth flame's energy was already beginning to gather into his palm, causing everyone's expressions to change. I won't compromise. You can go ahead. Sha Kishan's mother suddenly laughed, and she threw a bronze bell covered in runes into the air. That bell instantly grew larger, protecting her and a few dozen other experts behind it. From her posture, it seemed that as soon as Long Chen detonated the wind spirit crystal, she would activate this bronze bell's defensive abilities. Good. Long Chen icily laughed, and the earth flame energy in his hand moved to touch the wind spirit crystal, causing everyone to turn pale. Long Chen, don't do anything stupid. I, Mo Nian, have arrived. Chapter 476 Domineering Mo Yunchen Translator Born to be Long Chen, don't do anything stupid. I, Mo Nian, have arrived. A frantic cry rang out. A group of figures appeared in the plaza. The person at the front was Mo Nian. Behind Mo Nian was a middle-aged man with a square face and a button nose. He possessed a mighty and lofty bearing, and he emitted a powerful pressure that caused these hundreds of Xianchen experts to shiver. Behind that man were over ten Xianchen experts. Without saying a word, they just followed him, walking to the core of the plaza, not even glancing at the surrounding experts. Originally, Long Chen really had been planning on detonating the wind spirit crystal. If everyone else died, then living on his own didn't have any more meaning. But Mo Nian's arrival gave him a thread of hope. From that domineering man behind him, Long Chen sensed a similar pressure to the one Sha Kishan's mother gave him. That meant the two of them should be on the same level. Mo Yunshan, are you trying to interfere with the matters of the Zuanshan Super Monastery? Your Mo Gate's hands have really stretched far. Sha Kishan's mother icily stared at that middle-aged man. Obviously, the two of them knew each other. That middle-aged man curled his lip and disdainfully said, Even if you begged me to come to this corrupt and worthless place, I still wouldn't have come. However, if my son's brother has difficulties, then as the family head, I should at least come out to show his prestige. Right. What do you say? Zhao Kingayu. Are you going to give face to me? Sha Kishan's mother's name was Zhao Kingayu. Of everyone present, no one else had known that except Sha Kishan. Face? He. Perhaps you. Mo Yunshan. Do not possess enough face for that. Sneered Zhao Kingayu. Mo Yunshan didn't get angry at that. Instead, he smiled slightly. I knew you would reply like that. But my old man told me to at least try diplomacy before force. I knew that was making things too complicated, but there was no way around it, and so I asked. Now, diplomacy is over. Time to use force. Since you disagree with me, then we'll use strength to decide everything. Brothers, prepare to fight. You dare, raged Zhao Kingayu. You're right, I really do dare. Why don't you ask around about our Mo family's conduct? We never have any taboos about anything let alone fighting over a few people, even if it was raising down the first monastery and cutting off your head, it isn't anything difficult, said Mo Yunshan disdainfully, as soon as Mo Yunshan arrived, he crushed everyone in terms of pressure, those Xianchen experts didn't even dare take a large breath with him present, King Prefecture's hegemon, the Mo family, few people didn't know about that powerful existence, now, Mo Yunshan's arrival, his domineeringness, and the way he spoke to Zhao Kingayu shook everyone. He even dared say he wouldn't mind killing the assistant monastery head. That was definitely crazy. In fact, according to the stories, everyone from the Mo family was crazy. They couldn't be judged according to common sense. Now, they found those stories really were true. Domineering dad, Mo Nian stood by Mo Yunchen and gave him two thumbs up. Fuck off, you little brat. If you had half your old man's daring, I would have to burn incense in thanks. Honestly, how did I give birth to such a coward? You don't even dare do the smallest things. If you weren't my child, I would have long since slapped you to death. Cursed Mo Yunshan. After cursing Mo Nian, he then turned to Long Chen. He completely ignored Mo Nian's fury and instead gave Long Chen a thumbs up. It's Long Chen, right? Good work. This is how a man should be. Back when Mo Nian had first left the secret realm, he had immediately called out his father, who had been in seclusion. He told him that no matter what, he had to help him out with a certain matter, that had greatly startled Mo Yunshan. He understood his son. Although Mo Nian was a bit too conceited, he conducted himself cautiously. He never caused any trouble. In fact, it was precisely because he acted that way that Mo Yunshan was so dissatisfied. A man should be unafraid of heaven or earth. How could a child that didn't know how to cause trouble ever manage to mature into someone amazing? Well that was what his father had taught him in any case, but this time, Mo Nian had begged him for help, which was extremely startling to him, 
From Mo Nian, he heard a rough explanation of what had happened. Apparently, this son of his had finally gained a brother. That made Mo Yanchen very excited. Without saying another word, he had gathered some of Mo Gate's experts and rushed directly to the first monastery. On the way, Mo Nian had told him about Long Chen's temperament, and as a result, Mo Nian had been given a harsh tongue lashing. Mo Yanchen had said that compared to Long Chen, Mo Nian was a spineless coward, which had enraged him so much that Mo Nian had almost coughed up blood. Long Chen greets Uncle Mo, please forgive me for lacking manners at the moment, said Long Chen his hand still tightly pressed onto the wind spirit crystal. Junior brother, there's no need to be courteous. Men don't need to care so much about such trifling things laughed Mo Yunshin. TCH, you're lacking seniority. He's my brother, not yours, said Mo Nian. You really talk too much. Mo Yunshin blushed and glared at Mo Nian before looking back at Long Chen. Child, you can put that thing away now. Don't worry, with your uncle Mo here, no one will dare touch a single hair on your head. I came here just to help you out. Mo Yunchen's words were filled with confidence. It seemed he didn't even place Hao King Gaiyu in his eyes. In fact, it seemed he didn't place any one of these people in his eyes. Long Chen hesitated for a moment and then summoned out Little Snow, who pulled the Wind Spirit Crystal with him into his spiritual space. This Wind Spirit Crystal was too special and couldn't be placed in the primal chaos space for fear of it blowing those medicinal herbs to death. Just as Long Chen put away the Wind Spirit Crystal, Zhao King Gaiyu moved ever so slightly. However, a pitch black bow was immediately raised and pointed at her, making her turn stiff as a statue. Mo Yunchen's black bow was already fully drawn. All the murderous aura in the surrounding thousands of miles was sucked up without a drop missing. A terrifying energy locked down Zhao King Gaiyu. The person closest to her, Sha Kishin, immediately became covered in sweat, his face pale. In the face of that arrow, he felt himself like a rabbit who had been locked onto by a hunter. As long as Mo Yunchen wished it, he would be instantly killed. This attack wasn't even targeted at him, but just some fallout filled him with absolute terror. Long Chen, go save those friends of yours. Let me see just who dares try to stop you, said Mo Yunchen. Mo Yunchen, do you realize you are committing a grave crime? Warns Hao King Gaiyu. In the cultivation world, for outsiders to stick their hands into the affairs of sects truly was a grave crime. It would definitely draw public ire. TCH. What grave crime? Go ahead. Long Chen. Your uncle Mo's bow hasn't tasted the blood of experts in a long time. I wonder whether it will finally get a taste today. Said Mo Yunshin. Long Chen was delighted and filled with reverence towards Mo Yunshin. This was what it meant to be domineering. Long Chen was about to move when an icy snort suddenly rang out. I don't think your broken little bow can kill anyone at all. Everyone was startled, turning to see a woman in a long dress. She appeared to be in her thirties, and her expression was completely icy and filled with ridicule. Behind her were over ten experts wearing blood-red robes. They were all Xianchen experts, and the air around them twisted, making them seem extremely terrifying. Sha Kishin was delighted to see that woman and hastily bowed. Sha Kishin greets Senior Yun King. People from the Yun family Long Chen was startled feeling the situation had taken a turn for the worse. An ancient family was slightly troublesome. Mo Yunchen most likely wouldn't be able to block both Zhao King Gaiyu and Yun King. Ha ha ha, if we want to know whether my bow can kill anyone or not, it seems we'll have to test it. There's always been a certain thing I've brooded about. Back when I roamed through the world, I only managed to kill three disciples from ancient families. But everyone knows good things come in pairs. I wonder whether I'll be able to resolve that regret today. Laughed Mo Yunshin. Mo Yunshin still didn't place that woman in his eyes, relieving Long Chen. Mo Yunshin, it seems your Mo family no longer wants to have a place in the cultivation world. How dare you say such things? Yun King icily glared at Mo Yunshin, killing intent surging out of her eyes. Let it go. The Mo family is not like you people who rely only on your ancestors. Our foundation is far greater than you can imagine. Don't think just because you have your ancient family alliance that you're so amazing. Even if you're allied, it's just for show. There's nothing worth being arrogant about. Furthermore, you ancient families cannot so easily stick your hands into the matters of the rest of the world. For you to run your way here is already violating the ancient family alliance's conventions. Your actions won't bring you any protection from the alliance. Do you have to waste your breath? Said Mo Yunchen disdainfully. This so-called ancient family alliance was actually an extremely terrifying and enormous existence. Every ancient family was part of it. However, this alliance had existed for far too long. 
and its members were no longer so united. That was because almost everyone knew the position of ancient families and wouldn't dare provoke them. Furthermore, with the arrogance of ancient families, they rarely interacted with ordinary cultivators. They would only occasionally send their disciples out for tempering. That was also a way for them to keep up to date on the current situation in the world. This alliance was just in name only. No one knew its true use. The outer world only knew that the ancient families had an alliance, but they knew nothing of the exact details. Hearing Mo Yunchen's words, all these experts felt dizzy, but they knew one thing. This matter was about to blow up to an unprecedented scale. Does an insect have the right to speak such big words? I won't waste any more words on a commoner. Sect leader Shaw, why haven't you executed the criminals yet? Said Yun King icily. You can also see that the execution was set up a long time ago. But some people interrupted us. Said Shaw Kishin. Yun King sneered and then looked around. Her gaze lighting on Long Chen. You are Long Chen? Good. You really are brazen to be so vicious to one of our ancient family's disciples. Sha Kishin. First kill all these accomplices, and then I'll decide how to punish this little fellow. He dared poison one of my disciples? Then I'll make him beg for death. Attack. Following Yun King's orders, those experts behind her all charged forward at Ling Yunzi and the others. Whoever comes over will die. Mo Yunchen's aura erupted to his peak. You should worry about yourself. Zhao King Gaiyu sneered and took out her weapon at the same time as Yun King. A powerful aura locked onto Mo Yunchen. As long as he dared make a move. They would both release a killing blow. 10,000 wood overgrowth. Suddenly, a cry rang out and the ground split apart. Countless wooden stakes shot out, and a terrifying pressure caused everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 477 Experts appear one after another translator. Born to be 10,000 wood overgrowth. Boom. A huge shield formed of wooden stakes appeared in front of the attackers, stopping all of them. At the same time, the chains binding Ling Yunzi and the others broke apart and they were wrapped up in the wooden stakes and sent to Long Chen's side. Furthermore, the heaven-locking chains in Ling Yunzi and Kang Miying's bodies were removed, and their injuries rapidly healed. Other than their spiritual key, which couldn't be rapidly recovered, all their injuries were healed. This sudden change caught everyone off guard. By the time they clearly saw what was happening, Ling Yunzi and the others had already escaped their bindings. Sect Leader Tu Fang and the 108th Monastery's disciples all cheered upon seeing Ling Yunzi escape. Long Chen. Tang Wan'er threw herself into Long Chen's embrace sobbing. I really thought I would never get to see you again. Long Chen tightly held Tang Wan'er, not saying anything. He simply let her sob. Guo Ran. Wild. And the others were also quickly healed. They hadn't been tortured. And each of them wore a delighted expression from escaping death. Li Qiuayu. You dare interfere with my Xi'anshan supermonastery's private matters. Raged Cao King Gai as she looked up at a figure in the sky. Up in the sky, atop a violet phoenix sparrow, there were two women standing. One was Chu Yao, while the other was an extremely young and beautiful woman. Her graceful manners made people feel comfortable just by looking at her noveloon.com. This person was Chu Yao's master, the Skywood Palace master Li Qiuayu. She merely smiled in the face of Cao King Gaiyu's cursing. Assistant Monastery Head's house words really are grave. All I did was come here to act as a mediator since my apprentice begged me. I hope everyone can peacefully resolve this matter. No matter how you put it, Long Chen is a genius of our righteous path. I, Li Qiuayu, as a member of the righteous path, cannot bear to watch such a heavenly genius die to some sinister schemes. Li Qiuayu's words were very calm without the slightest bit of anger, sounding as if she were just stating some simple facts but there was a needle behind her silk words. She was cursing Sha Kishin for being envious of others and trying to kill geniuses. And at the same time, she was ridiculing Zhao King Gaiyu for siding with her son and not being impartial. Li Qiuayu, don't try cursing anyone indirectly. This is a matter of the Zhuanshan Supermonastery, and a little girl like you does not have the qualifications to interfere, shouted Zhao King Gaiyu. Li Qiuayu might be the palace head of the Skywood Palace but her cultivation base had only reached the peak of the Xi'anshan realm. Zhao King Gaiyu's meaning was obvious. Someone at her level did not qualify to even speak to her. At this time, Li Qiuayu and Chu Yao had also arrived beside Long Chen and the others. Chu Yao exchanged a glance with Long Chen and then gently pulled away Tang Wan'er. Now was not the time to talk. Li Qiuayu gave Mo Yunchen a simple greeting and then glanced at Long Chen with praise. She merely smiled in response to Zhao King Gaiyu's words. Many thanks for your reminder, senior. 
When it comes to qualifications, I really am a bit lacking, but as a member of the Righteous Path, I have to protect the Righteous Path's talents from any vicious attacks from crafty villains. That's the duty of every expert of the Righteous Path. And so although I don't have the same qualifications as your distinguished self, for the future of the Righteous Path, I had no choice but to come here. You, who is the crafty villain? Long Chen clearly slaughtered countless righteous disciples, and his sins are unforgivable rage Cao King Gaiu, Senior, you've misunderstood. The crafty villains I was referring to were those people from the corrupt path. Those people are all contemptible and shameless, wicked and treacherous, and they all like to use schemes against people they are jealous of. They don't have the ability to handle the righteous path's experts, and so they end up bringing harm to their own geniuses. Most hateful of all. Some of those ancient seniors even like to discriminate towards their own children, deliberately inverting right and wrong, misrepresenting the truth. Such villains really are the most hateful. If I didn't know better, I'd assume those villains were purposely sent there by the righteous path to act as inside agents used to harm their own geniuses. Don't you agree with me, seniors how? Smiled Li Qiuayu. Long Chen and the others all felt incredibly satisfied inside. Li Qiuayu truly was amazing. Her way with words had reached the realm of perfection. She cursed people without a single obscenity. She was clearly pointing a finger at Cao King Gaiu's nose and cursing, but she didn't reveal the slightest anger. She made it so Cao King Gaiu wanted to explode with anger but couldn't in order to keep up her pretense. That had practically reached the level of a divine ability. Cao King Gaiu was ashen right now, killing intent exploding from her. Li Qiuayu's words had ruthlessly torn apart her hypocritical mask completely humiliating and infuriating her, but she didn't retort, as when it came to eloquence, she couldn't even compare to her, quibbling would just cause her to lose even more face, it's just a girl, since she dared come here to harbor murderers, then we'll just kill them together, said Yun King icily, a peak Xi'anshan expert was not anything in her eyes, she had come here in order to kill, only then could she display her prestige, Ancient families were unable to accept their disciples being treated so ruthlessly by others. They had to kill the offenders. Only then could they maintain the dignity of an ancient family. Other than killing people, her target was also Long Chen. The rumors were that he had merged with a mysterious beat in the secret realm. The Yun family's higher-ups wanted Long Chen caught and brought to them to see whether or not they could extract that bead. Fighting and killing all day isn't a good thing. Why can't everyone just sit down and talk about it? After all. Amicability can make you rich, and that's the way of a king. At this time, an old man's voice rang out. One young and one old person appeared in the plaza. No one had sensed their arrival up to now, which shocked everyone. Sorry, we're late. The young person to appear now was surprisingly Zhen Wenlong. Seeing Long Chen and Mo Nian, he hastily apologized. You're not late at all. In fact, you're right on time. Long Chen laughed. He hadn't expected Zhen Wenlong to also have come to help and he couldn't help being moved. At the same time, he began to admire him. Although Zhen Wenlong always said he was a businessman, he never went back on what he had decided. Although their goals were different, that determination and commitment in their bones was the same. Who are you? Zhao King Gaiu icily glared at the old man. He looked extremely ordinary, seeming so old that he already had one foot in the grave. But he made her feel a powerful pressure that told her he wasn't as simple as he appeared. Me? He? I'm just an old peddler. Sometimes I do some small business, but this little fellow really is devoted. He told me there was an excellent business opportunity here for me to get some profit from. And so, here I am, for this pitiful old man to still have a chance to make such a huge profit at my age. It really must be a blessing from the wealth god. The old man leaned on his walking stick and slowly walked up to Long Chen. Looking at Long Chen, his turbid eye suddenly began to shine. How was that at all the blurred vision of an old man? Long Chen felt as if this old man was able to see through all his secrets. Yes, this will definitely be big business. Ah, Zhen Wenlong, how about you just transfer this client to me? Look, I'm so old, and really pitiful. Grandpa Su, please don't fight with this little one. A hair on your head is probably worth more than everything I own. You're being unreasonable, Zhen Wenlong scowled. You little fellow, what kind of words are those? Those who pursue the business Dao pursue profit, and in that process, you have to be willing to do anything. To do business, you need a powerful foundation, and part of that is having a thick skin. What's so unreasonable about my request? Little fellow, you still need more tempering, rebuked the old man. 
acting as if Zhen Wenlong had failed to live up to his expectations. That's enough. I know you must be people from the Huaian sect. Are you planning on interfering in this matter as well? Raged Cao Qingyu. In this world, only the Huaian sect's people repeatedly talked about business like this. They were easily recognizable. No, we wouldn't interfere in your personal matters. The old man shook his head disdainfully. Then what did you come here for? Asked Cao Qingyu. To do business, the old man firmly said. Long Chen is someone my Huaian sect has invested in. Furthermore, we've already invested a large amount of manpower, physical resources, and even lives. In other words, Long Chen is a client of my Huaian sect in the future. He will bring us a huge amount of profit. And to us businessmen, profit is our lives, while our clients are our bread and butter. For you to kill Long Chen would be severing our profit. That would waste our investment. Furthermore, those people that died still have families, and they need us to look after them. Killing Long Chen would sever their income. Severing our livelihood is equivalent to killing our parents. And since you want to kill our parents, we naturally will go all out against you. Have I explained it clearly enough? If you still don't understand, let me say it even clearer. We came here to protect our client, and not to interfere with your private matter. Do you understand? Zhao Qingyu turned ashen. She hadn't expected this matter to develop to this point. More and more people were coming to support Long Chen. If she couldn't have Long Chen killed today, then she really would be doomed. Right now, she was riding a tiger and couldn't get off. Previously, the only reason she had agreed to this was because she had felt she had enough assurance. But if Long Chen didn't die, the truth would sooner or later be exposed to the public. If it was learned by the monastery head, just thinking of the consequences made her feel cold. But now Long Chen had Mo Yunchen as well as that elder from the Huaian sect their strengths were relatively even. If more experts appeared to join Long Chen's side, then he really would be able to escape. Zhao Qingyu glanced at Yun King and saw she was already eager to fight. She clenched her teeth. Today, no matter the price, she had to kill Long Chen. Everyone listen to my orders. Kill Long Chen. Along with her shout, a powerful aura surged out of her, and the entire first monastery was enveloped by that aura, making it hard for others to breathe. Yun King also released her aura. Her target was Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Good. Let's have a good fight today. Mo Yunchen's laughter rang out like thunder, and he raised his bow. Aya, you people, we could have settled this peacefully, benefiting both parties. Why do you people always want to fight? Well, I suppose there's no choice. It's been a while since I've exercised my bones. I wonder how many moves I still remember. The old man from the Huaian sect sighed, but a bright light shone from his eyes, and he no longer seemed doddering and senile. Everyone was horrified. If these four people fought with their full strength, then the entire first monastery would be raised to the ground. Buzz. Just as an immense battle was about to erupt, a powerful spatial fluctuation materialized, and a figure gradually appeared in the sky. Chapter 478 Monastery Head Translator Born to be Monastery Head, the Zhuanshan Supermonastery sect leaders and elders all let out startled cries and bowed. The person who had appeared was an extremely beautiful woman who only looked to be around 25 or 26 years old. She wore a green dress, and she was so beautiful, her face like a painting. However, a powerful pressure came from her, and there were two huge wings on her back, floating up in the sky. She was truly like an immortal who had descended upon the earth. As soon as she appeared, the entire world seemed to tremble, as if she was beginning to merge with it. She was smiling, her smile like a flower in bloom, beautiful beyond compare, but an icy light shone in her eyes. Zhao Qingyu, you really are amazing. Are you planning on bringing down the entire first monastery? Oh, I understand. You dislike the look of your son's monastery and so you want to bring it down to build a bigger one, right? She might be smiling, but her voice was filled with fury. Monastery head, let me explain there's no need to explain. Zhao Qingyu, although I was in seclusion all these years, I know everything you've been up to. I was too lazy to bother with what you were doing since I was at a critical juncture in my seclusion but I really did underestimate you. For a selfish matter, you actually wanted to kill this many geniuses. In truth, I already came out of seclusion half a month ago, so I personally saw everything you've done. The reason I didn't say anything was because I was very curious just how selfish a person could be. I never expected you to teach me that a person's evil desires really are boundless. From you, I see the most shameless and contemptible aspects of the entire righteous path. Good. Very good. 
said that woman. What no one had expected was for the powerful Sao King Gyu to actually immediately kneel down on the ground and beg. Monastery head. I was just confused for a while. I was poisoned by my unfilial son, which caused me to make such foolish decisions. Monastery head. Please forgive me. My Sao family will definitely be deeply grateful. Now everyone was truly dumbfounded. They had never imagined how King Gaia would kneel and begin weeping bitter tears. Furthermore, Sha Kishan's expression completely changed. At this time, his mother had actually pushed all the responsibility onto him, and his heart turned cold. Since you are the assistant monastery head, I only have the authority to record your mistakes. As for your punishment, it will be decided by the Deo Sect's enforcement hall. I've already reported everything that has happened here to the enforcement hall. As for what they'll decide to do, it'll be up to your luck. That woman shook her head. Shu Wuhan. Zhao King Gaiyu suddenly stood up and icily glared at the monastery head, clenching her teeth. She raged. You really schemed deeply this time. Good. This time. I, Zhao King Gaiyu, admit defaturing but don't get too pleased. My Zhao family won't leave it like this. Shu Wuhan waved her hand and a spatial door opened in front of Zhao King Gaiyu. Leave. If you have anything to say, say it to the enforcement hall's elders. They'll definitely patiently listen to your story. Seeing this spatial door, a bit of despair appeared on Zhao King Gaiyu's face, but clenching her teeth, she entered. Her body disappeared from everyone's stunned gazes. The spatial gate also faded along with her. Sha Kishin, do you know your sins? After sending off Zhao King Gaiyu, Shu Wuhan turned to her son. Sha Kishin turned pale as paper, and he hastily knelt down. Monastery head, please spare my life. Shu Wuhan shook her head and sighed. I also want to spare your life. Unfortunately, I can't. A person's sins will always catch up to them sooner or later. With a wave of her hand, a pillar of light slammed into Sha Kishin's body, and his body immediately exploded. But what was shocking was that even after his body exploded, there was not the slightest bit of blood remaining. Instead, there was just some water residue. Long Chen's heart almost leaked out of his body. This monastery head was truly terrifyingly powerful. That attack had clearly contained the aura of the water attribute. Somehow, when it had struck Sha Kishin, he had turned into water. That was no longer within the classification of battle skills. Such an attack was simply called a magical technique, and it completely surpassed Long Chen's current understanding. The entire crowd was silent. No one had thought that this matter would end up alarming the monastery head who had been in seclusion for hundreds of years. Monastery head Shu, my Yun family won't bother with you about your supermonastery's internal affairs. However, I absolutely have to bring Long Chen away today. Yun King frowned when she saw that Shu Wuhan had appeared, but she still put on a brave act. Oh, why is that? Asked Shu Wuhan. Because Long Chen is shameless and contemptible. He poisoned one of my Yun family's geniuses. And despite trying countless methods, the best my Yun family is capable of doing is keeping her just barely alive. Most hateful of all is that this bastard Long Chen actually lied, saying if we found a thousand heart snow lotus, we would be able to save her life. We paid a huge sum in order to obtain a thousand heart snow lotus, but Yun Wushuang still continues to suffer from the pain of ten thousand ants devouring her heart. It didn't have any effect, raged Yun King. Long Chen snorted, idiot, how did I lie? Yun Wushuang only had seven days of life left to her, but she still hasn't died now. How did I lie? Do you even have a head, bastard? Right now she has to suffer day and night from incredible pain that's even worse than death. How can that count as saving her life? You're the bastard. Has your head been trampled by a donkey? You can't even understand words? My boss said that the thousand heart snow lotus could save her life. When did he ever say it could relieve the poison? Furthermore. That despicable woman is absolutely vicious and ended up causing that many people to die. This is just her retribution. What are you so mad about? Guo Ran couldn't hold back from cursing. Beside him, Mo Nian clapped in praise towards his brilliant cursing. Guo Ran's cursing truly was satisfying. You're courting death. Yin King raged. When would she have ever suffered such humiliation? For a junior generation to curse her in the face like this almost made her explode. You're the one courting death. If you keep being such a BTCH and end up irritating Uncle Mo, he'll definitely kill you with a single arrow through the head. Guo Ran stood behind Mo Yunshin, arrogantly cursing Yun King. Mo Nian's eyes suddenly brightened, and he raged at Mo Yunshin. You damn dad, when you talk to me, you barely say a few sentences before just beating me. What, are you ruthless to children but a coward in public? 
You actually wasted this many words to an outsider? Just which one of us is your son? Am I your son? Or is she your son? Everyone's expressions became odd. Were these two really father and son? Was there really a son who would say such things to his father in public? What absolute nonsense. Of course, you're my son, or I'd have long since beat you to death. Furthermore, are you blind? She's a woman, and she's even older than your old man. How am I supposed to give birth to her? Roared Mo Yunshin, giving Mo Nian a slap in the face. Everyone's expressions grew even odder. Were they really one family? Was there really a son like this? Was there really a father like this? They really were a marvel pair. The solemn atmosphere became extremely strange due to their words. However, Yin King's killing intent had boiled to a pinnacle. But at the same time, she also didn't dare attack. There were too many experts here, and she would definitely end up losing if she started a battle. She could only endure it for now and contemplate getting revenge later. Monastery Head Shu, don't you feel like you should give my Yun family an explanation? Demanded Yun King. Shu Wuhan's faint smile disappeared to be replaced with iciness. Let me tell you a few things. First, you and I are not on the same level. So when you speak to me, be more respectful. Second, I, Shu Wuhan, don't need to give anyone any explanation about anything. Especially not to a little girl like you who has only reached the half step C expansion realm. Third, don't think that just by using your family's name you can run rampantly amok. Although I am just a single super monastery's monastery head. I am backed by the Zhuanshan Dao sect you ancient families don't have the qualifications to suppress me. Understand, Yin King's face went from red to white. In the outside world, she could always do whatever she wanted. She had never received such a humiliation. But she also didn't dare publicly challenge Shu Wuhan. Because she would be able to crush her. It was just as Shu Wuhan said. Although she was just a monastery head. Behind her was the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect. One of the cultivation world's three heavenly sects. A single ancient family truly was nothing in front of such an enormous existence. Ancient families might be able to be tyrannical in the rest of the cultivation world. But in front of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. They still didn't have the qualifications to be arrogant. Go back and tell your family exactly what I've said. This matter is a private matter of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and we don't need them to stick their noses into it. Since you sent your disciple here as tempering, then you'll have to comply with our rules. In other words, I have jurisdiction over everything. As for Yun Wushuang's conduct, I've heard of what she's done. And so to settle this matter, I only have one phrase for you. She has only herself to blame. In this world, just having a strong background isn't completely reliable. That is merely something your ancestors gave you, and it can disappear at any time. Your disciple committed outrageous sins here. Did she think that her background placed her above the law? Perhaps that would have been true at other sects, but it isn't here. And so, scram back to wherever you came from. Shu Wuhan's words were said indifferently, obviously disapproving of the Yun family's conduct Novaloon.com Yun King was completely enraged. It was clear Shu Wuhan was protecting Long Chen and refused to give the Yun family any recompense for this matter. Now, she would be unable to obtain Long Chen's secrets, and she had lost all her prestige. Just as Yun King was hesitating on what to do, Guo Ran cursed. Hey, are you deaf? Our monastery head has already said it this clearly, but you still don't understand? Alright, then let me simplify it even more. Our monastery head's meaning is this, either scram, or die. Yun King's teeth creaked as she clenched them from fury. She really was about to lose control. With a cold snort, she was just about to bring her people away. Who is Long Chen? Hurry up and come out. Suddenly, a woman's cry shook the entire sky, causing people's eardrums to almost burst. Even Shu Wuhan's expression changed. Chapter 479 Mysterious Expert Translator Born to be Who is Long Chen? Hurry up and come out. Suddenly, heaven and earth began to shiver. A jade white hand appeared up in the sky and tore open a crack in the void, and a woman walked out of that crack. This woman appeared extremely young and had a slender figure. She wore snow white robes, truly looking like a high god up above others. There weren't any fluctuations coming from her body, but as soon as she appeared, it was as if the entire world had become encased in ice. The ordinary disciples began to shiver, their teeth clacking. Even the Xi'anshan experts felt chilly and had no choice but to circulate their ki with their power in order to defend against the chill. Each one of them looked at that woman with shock. This woman was extremely beautiful, but her face didn't have the slightest expression. She was like some goddess of ice and snow, so cold that others didn't dare approach. 
As soon as she appeared, her eyes scanned the people below. She quickly noticed Long Chen, and her eyes brightened. She disappeared from the sky, appeared in front of Long Chen. She hastily asked, Where is Ye's Hikyu? Quick, tell me. Long Chen was completely startled. He didn't know this woman's intentions, and so he hesitated. My friend already died. Does Senior need something? Quickly bring out her corpse. I need to see if her soul star has scattered. Quickly, she demanded urgently. Long Chen's heart shook. He thought of a certain possibility and hastily looked towards Chu Yao. She waved her hand and a large, wooden coffin appeared in front of her. The wooden coffin automatically opened, revealing Ye's Hikyu who lay inside. Her face was pale white, but that final smile of hers still remained. Seeing that smile, Long Chen felt a wave of emotion and couldn't hold back his tears. That smile was Ye's Hikyu's final gift to him. Tang Wan'er and Chu Yao also had tears streaming down their face. The death of one of their sisters who had fought side by side with them made them feel as if knives were stabbing their hearts. That mysterious woman hastily pressed a finger to the space between Ye's Hikyu's eyebrows, and suddenly, a rune shaped like a snow lotus lit up. Her soul star still hasn't shattered. I made it just in time. A gratified smile appeared on that icy woman's face. She waved her hand, and a crystalline ice coffin enveloped Ye's Hikyu before she was put away by the woman. Senior, Long Chen hastily cried out. He still didn't know what intentions this woman had. He couldn't just let her take away Ye's Hikyu. This woman's soul star will be very useful to my disciples. I'll be taking this corpse. She said icily. What? Guo Ran and the others all raged. She wanted Ye's Hikyu's corpse to use as a cultivation tool. That was absolutely intolerable. Hand back my friend's corpse. Long Chen instantly summoned his divine ring and battle armor. A blue flame spear appeared in his hand. Guo Ran. Gu Yang and the others also surrounded this woman. As long as Long Chen gave the order, they would immediately attack. That mysterious woman smiled mockingly at being surrounded by them. She icily said, Don't think a few babies like you can do anything. If I want to leave, then even if everyone here tried to stop me, you would all be killed with a wave of my hand. It'd be best for you not to overestimate yourselves. Long Chen, don't be reckless. This senior is very powerful. Xu Wuhan hastily tried to stop him. Even she felt an incredible pressure from this woman. She couldn't help being horrified. Why had such a person appeared here? I don't care if she's a senior or not. I also don't care how high her cultivation base is. If you want to bring away my companion, you'll have to take my life first. Long Chen icily glared at that woman, his aura growing stronger and stronger. Although he knew this woman was terrifying, so terrifying that even Chu Wuhan was intimidated by her. Long Chen definitely wouldn't allow her to just bring away Ye's Hikyu. So no matter how strong she was, he still needed to fight with his full strength. Even if it meant a battle to the death, that was the essence of the nine-star hegemon body art. Ever since Long Chen had understood that, he had sworn never to yield. Wasn't the worst case just death? Your actions right now are very stupid, said the mysterious woman. You're absolutely right. We're all just this stupid. It's precisely because we're stupid that we can fight together even unto death, said Long Chen icily. His two stars circulated with their full power. Since his chances of survival were already so remote, he might as well give it a try. Seeing Long Chen gathering all his power, that mysterious woman's icy expression gradually became a smile, a bit of admiration appearing in her eyes. Just how many years had it been since someone had dared face her like this? Let alone a tendon transformation rookie like Long Chen. Even someone on Chu Wuhan's level didn't dare face her directly. But Long Chen still gathered all his power, not giving up despite knowing how many times stronger she was. Despite knowing he was facing someone he could not possibly defaturing that required more than just courage. Good. Very good. It's no wonder you were able to subdue an earth flame at your realm. It seems it wasn't necessarily a coincidence. The mysterious woman nodded, no longer appearing as icy as before. Instead, she seemed like a benevolent elder causing everyone to be dumbfounded. All of you really are excellent disciples. The reason why experts are called experts isn't just because of how strong they are, but because they need a powerful courage. One of the traits an expert must have is to be able to fight against other experts, experts who might even be stronger than them, without withdrawing, without being terrified, and without giving up. You've all done well. Long Chen, you don't need to be worried. I was just testing you just now. I don't have any malicious intentions. I crossed 17 prefectures all to bring back Ye's Hikyu. I've already seen the scenes of your battle within the secret realm. 
Yes Hikyu possesses an extremely rare celestial ice body, and she is perfectly suited to my sect's cultivation techniques. I came here today to bring her back to my sect to cultivate, said the mysterious woman. Then, you mean that's Hikyu? She can be. Long Chen's eyes brightened with emotion, his voice trembling slightly. The mysterious woman nodded. Her soul star hasn't dissipated yet. When I bring her back, I will use a Zuan ice pool to baptize her. That will let her completely shed her old self and reform her physical body. At that time, she will be revived. Really Chu Yao and Tang Wan are both cheered, hugging Long Chen and crying tears of joy. There was no better news than this to them. A companion's death would bring endless pain to those who remained. That kind of pain could make a person wish they were dead as well. That was also why they loathed fighting so much. But cultivation was simply like that. If you didn't kill others, others would kill you. Furthermore, there was no retreat possible. That was something all cultivators were helpless about. Many thanks, Senior. Long Chen hastily bowed to the mysterious woman. In truth, you don't have to thank me. We only encountered each other due to coincidence. I will be bringing away Hikyu, but it will take a while in order for her to revive. There's one thing I should warn you of. Once she undergoes the baptism of the chilling ice ancient pool, she will become completely transformed, and her physical body will reach a flawless level. If you don't work hard, you'll only ever be able to look up to her, said the mysterious woman. Don't worry, senior. Such a thing definitely won't happen, promised Long Chen. All right, then I'll leave now. If there comes a day when you reach that realm, you will naturally come to know who I am. So there's no need for me to tell you my name. But if you aren't able to reach that level, then we will be people in two different worlds. So telling you my name would also be useless. After saying that, this mysterious woman took a single step and appeared in the sky, cutting a line with her hand. A crack appeared in the void and she stepped through, disappearing from their gazes. Even once that mysterious woman left, everyone present still felt as if they were dreaming. To be able to wave her hand and tear apart the void. Just what level of expert was this? They had never even heard of such a realm. Yin King's expression was exceedingly ugly. She icily glared at Long Chen and warned. Just wait, Long Chen. This matter won't end so easily. You should know. An ancient family's prestige is not something someone like you can tarnish. Hurry up and scram. Don't you see my boss is too lazy to even acknowledge you? Said Guo Ran disdainfully. To such a lofty and arrogant person, you couldn't give the slightest bit of face. The best way to handle them was to ruthlessly give them a slap in the face. The more face you gave them, the more unbridled they would be. Although Yun Wushuang was basically dead thanks to Long Chen, that didn't relieve any of the hatred in their hearts. Right now, there was hope for Ye's Hiki reviving, but the others who had died would never live again. Lu Fanger's corpse might be intact still, but the Wind Spirit Pavilion's poisonous arrows were specialized toward soul cultivators. Her soul had already dissipated, and even a god wouldn't be able to revive her. As for Guan Wenan and the other 108th Monastery's disciples, they were all dead due to Yun Wushuang's schemes. So seeing that Yun King dared try to threaten them at this point, Guo Ran was just a bit off from completely exploding and unleashing a real batch of obscenities. Yun King almost coughed up blood from rage, clenching her teeth. She finally left with her people. Once the Yun family left, those various righteous sects members who had been brought here by Sha Kishin also said their goodbyes. Sha Kishin had been executed, and their previous investments were now essentially gone and wasted. Most importantly, with Sha Kishin's death, the compensation he had promised them was also gone. Staying any longer wouldn't bring any benefits, so they could only leave dejectedly. It could be said that their core strength had been greatly injured now. Their elite disciples had almost all been killed. They could only wait and patiently gather more disciples, raising them into elites. However, what they didn't know was, a hundred years from now, when they and their new disciples waited for the Jiuli secret realm to open, they would all be dumbfounded because the Jiuli secret realm would not open. It would forever disappear from this world. Once those various sect leaders and elders left, the only ones remaining were the members from the monasteries, as well as those from the Huaian sect, Mogate and the Skywood Palace's Li Qiuayu. Shu Wuhan swept her gaze over these people and then icily said, Now it's time for us to properly settle our accounts. Chapter 480 Settling Accounts Translator Born to be now it's time for us to properly settle our accounts. Shu Wuhan's words caused quite a few people's hearts to jump. Those people were the lackeys of the first monastery. Sha Kishin, their strongest support, had been killed. They immediately had a bad feeling. 
You can all go to the law enforcement hall on your own and report your crimes. I'd advise you not to try and hide anything, as that will just send you to your deaths, said Shu Wuhan. Those people immediately turned ashen. This time they really might be doomed. The monastery head was planning on using them to display her power and to completely transform the supermonastery's atmosphere. Most importantly, of the people present, there wasn't a single one that was completely free of sin. Over these years, they had committed quite a few crimes while following the first monastery. However, there was one thing that let them stay calm. They could just push the blame to Sha Kishan. It was Sha Kishan who had forced them to do everything, and they had been helpless. In any case, Sha Kishan was already dead, and the dead could not testify. By doing this, at the very least, they should be able to keep their lives. At the same time, they understood Shu Wuhan's intentions. She didn't necessarily want their lives. Instead, she wanted them to pile all the guilt on Sha Kishan. That could count as a favor to them. Otherwise, if this was investigated carefully, then once all their vile crimes were uncovered, they wouldn't be able to escape the death penalty. Thinking of that relieved many of them. They bowed towards Shu Wuhan and then began traveling towards the super monastery to report to the law enforcement hall. Hey, you old guys from the first monastery, wait a second. Guo Ran suddenly interrupted when he saw the three Xi'anshan experts of the first monastery were about to leave. You old codgers, hand back my spatial ring. Guo Ran and the other spatial rings had been taken away by the first monastery when they had been captured. Just thinking of that enraged him. That spatial ring contained the treasures he had obtained in the secret realm, and most importantly, the thing he needed for his livelihood was in there as well. Ah, they were already all taken to the storehouse by sect leader Shaw, explained one of the elders. How about I go get them now? No need, said Shu Wuhan. But monastery head, Guo Ran became panicked upon hearing this. His forging table was his life. Before he could say any more, Long Chen pulled on him. He wanted to hear what Shu Wuhan was going to say. At the very least, she had always been slightly biased towards them. She probably wouldn't try to keep their treasure selfishly. Gather all your first monastery's disciples. First, tell them not to touch anything within the monastery, and that people who do will be killed without exception. Then leave and go to the 108th monastery. As I see it, you've all stayed here for too long and have gotten too used to it. Changing your environment will definitely benefit your mental and physical health. At the very least. It should get rid of some of your hot temper. As for the 108th monastery's disciples, well, it seems quite a few of you have already come. Since you've come, there's no need to leave. This place will be your new territory, said Shu Wuhan. Every person was astonished. The first monastery and the 108th monastery were being switched? She was treating this too lightly, wasn't she? Monastery head, this is a bit inappropriate. The rankings are always decided on the strength of the disciples. This is too unfair, said Xiao Yang Chang. He had long since set his sights on the first monastery's position. Now that Sha Kishan had died, only the second monastery had the qualifications to take the place of the first monastery. Oh, is that so? Then it's very simple. Pick out any disciples from any monastery and have them challenge Long Chen. If they win, the first monastery's position will be yours, said Xu Wuhan. Xiao Yang Chang turned green. Find a disciple to challenge Long Chen? That was definitely a joke. Even two Xi'anshan sect leaders had been killed by Long Chen. Who would dare still challenge him? Xiao Yang Chang had an urge to slap himself. However, he was quite the sly fellow, and he smiled and cupped his fists at Ling Yanzi. Then congratulations, Brother Ling. You've become the youngest sect leader of the first monastery. Brother Xiao, you're too courteous. Unfortunately, our sect leader is injured right now and can't reply. So let this junior brother take his place. Brother Xiao, you really are an amazing person and a great ally. You're actually the first to come congratulate us. Guo Ran walked up and cupped his fists to Xiao Yang Chang. Xiao Yang Chang went from green to black. He, a grand sect leader, was being called a brother by a disciple. That was absolutely humiliating. Furthermore, when Guo Ran had called him an ally, he had raised his voice extra loud, filling it with disdain and contempt pointing towards how he had fled as soon as it had become dangerous but had come to suck up as soon as it was beneficial. Looking at Xiao Yang Chang who was holding back a stomach full of anger, Xu Wuhan couldn't help but find it funny. At the same time, she truly found that Long Chen's group was very interesting. They were definitely all marvels unafraid of anything, ignoring everything else. 
Just the fact they had dared take out their weapons against that mysterious woman was enough to impress her immensely. Even she had been completely suppressed by her aura. It really must be nice to be young. You can all disperse now. The first monastery still has other guests they have to receive. So don't create more trouble here, said Shu Wuhan. Now, the masters of the first monastery had changed. As for the old members of the first monastery, they had no choice but to go to their new home. But thinking of this new home made them feel as terrible as if their parents had just died. First place had immediately become last. That result was hard to accept for them. Some of them even noiselessly sobbed. The first monastery obtained all the best resources. But as for the 108th monastery, well, that truly was like falling from being emperors to being beggars. As some people cried silent tears, others were filled with excitement. Guo Ran and the others were all cheering loudly. I want a whole region to myself, roared Guo Ran. The first monastery had had a hundred thousand disciples, but the 108th monastery's disciples were numbered in the hundreds. It truly was possible for one person to take a large region for themselves. As the 108th monastery's disciples cheered, even Ling Yunzi was extremely moved. Master, can you see this? We're number one now. That had been Ling Yunzi's mission this entire time. Although it wasn't him who had accomplished it, Long Chen was still his disciple. This accomplishment was still his. A pressure that had been resting on his heart had finally been lifted. Aya, Mo Yunchen suddenly sighed. Surprising people. Xu Wuhan asked, for you to sigh. Do you feel there was some flaw with how I handled this matter? Mo Yunchen shook his head. It's not that there are flaws, but that it was really too perfect. So perfect that I can't find anything to nitpick about. It's because it was so perfect that I have to sigh. Why is that? Because you handled this so perfectly. There's no way for me to bring Long Chen back to Mo Gate. Originally, my old man wanted me to bring this little fellow back with me. He said he really wanted to know what kind of person his grandson's first friend was like. This time, it seems I'll end up being scolded by the old man, sighed Mo Yunshin. Thinking of his father's temperament, he felt a headache coming. That old man's temperament was legendary. All he cared about was the result, and if he didn't like the result, he would always curse you first before even asking for the reasons. Sigh. I even brought my old man's clone jade tablet. Mo Yunshin revealed a jade tablet in his hand. Ha ha ha, then let me thank old man Mo for his care of my disciples. In terms of age, old man Mo is even my senior, so please bring my regards back to him. Shu Wuhan laughed. Ah, that's enough. I didn't even get to have a fight. Let's go back. Little fellow, do you want to play around for a few days first, or do you want to come with me? Mo Yunchen asked Mo Nian. Mo Nian truly did want to stay for a few days, but when he looked at Long Chen, he shook his head. It's fine. Let's go. I want to learn our family's ancestral battle skills. Long Chen is really too abnormal. If I don't work harder, I'll be thrown off by him. When he had first arrived here, he had seen two lumps of flesh under Long Chen's feet. The pressure coming from that flesh clearly marked them as Xi'anchen experts. That had given Mo Nian a huge impact. Long Chen's growth rate was too abnormal. Previously, it had always been he who threw others far behind him. Now, he was in danger of Long Chen doing the same to him. That gave him a sensation of crisis. He definitely didn't want to have to be protected by others. Not bad. Could it be you finally learned to be hardworking? Long Chen, your Uncle Mo is leaving now. When you have time, come to Mo Gate. No matter at what time, Mo Gate will always be a second home to you. Mo Yunchen patted Long Chen on the shoulder, his expression earnest. I'll definitely come. Long Chen nodded. From the bottom of his heart, Long Chen felt extremely close to Mo Nian and his father. They truly felt like a family to him. Yaur, we should also go. Once we get back, I'll impart the first volume of the Skywood Sacred Canon to you. With your talent, you'll definitely soar like a shooting star. Say goodbye to your boyfriend, smiled Lee Kiyuayu. At this point, Lee Kiyuayu seemed like a benevolent mother, gently caressing Chu Yao's cheeks dotingly. Then I'll be going now, Long Chen. Chu Yao held Long Chen's hand, reluctant to part. Long Chen also didn't want to part, but in the end, he still had to watch as Chu Yao left. He couldn't help feeling somewhat sour inside. Separating was always an extremely painful choice. Brother Long, should we leave or ask Chen Wen Long? Brothers Hang, you and your senior shouldn't rush off so soon. In a bit, I'll definitely have some things to discuss with you. If it's alright, please stay for a few days, said Long Chen. He truly did have some things to discuss. However, 
Shu Wuven had continued waiting around all this time. It was obvious she still had things to say. However, the fact she hadn't said them yet meant it was inconvenient for her to say them in this situation. Mo Yunchen and Li Qiuayu had both noticed that, which was why they had directly said their goodbyes. Zhen Wenlong nodded and supported the old man away, finding a place for them to rest. Tu Fang now sent some disciples back to inform the people who had remained in the 108th monastery. It was time to move homes, and there was plenty of work to do. The first monastery was too huge, and just making an inventory of what was here would require a while. Monastery head, Uncle Master and I are a bit unwell and need to find a place to rest. Ling Yunzi and Kang Ming were already fully recovered thanks to Li Qiuayu. This was just an excuse to leave. At the same time, Guo Ran, Tang Wanner and the others also exchanged glances and left. The only ones left were Long Chen and Shu Wuhan.